What's up, Kima? Get this card going. Yeah. Alright, we're about to do this. Uh -huh. I gotta put this underneath sketches. We're gonna call this sketch. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Woo! We cooking <laughs> this lover's image. <laughs> this lover's image, that's what we cooking. I'm sorry that I'm seasoned. I need to turn this off. I'm like, wah, wah. Mommy. It was, it was good. We leveled up. No afro, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to get sick. You're not allowed to get sick, bro. going so fast. God, dog. I don't like how it looked like that, but it is what it is. I'm just going to have to suck it up. It's Saturday, Sunday, what? It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, Sunday, it's Friday, it's Friday, Sunday, it's Friday, it's Friday, Sunday, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, Her ear is looking ugh. wild, 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 wild. Okay, here we go. What happened?
I do not like her ears. I think it's just the way I'm drawing them, maybe. Yeah. I think that's what it is. And I'm not used to what I'm doing right now. Because I want to, like, switch to a different brush. Not the brush that I'm using. Nah, because we... I had to upgrade. I had to upgrade my levels. So, um... I couldn't. I couldn't do what I, I wanted to do. Uh, but... I'm a level 46, I think, on that bad boy. So, we're gonna actually... We're gonna, um... First things first, we have to go to uh, Sandman's daughter's house. And then we can do the other missions. I mean, the, the last mission. How was yesterday? How was work? I just live my life. Just steadily slow. I felt that. It's just like one of those days, you know. Ooh. Well, I'm glad. As long as it's better, right? I work in the mornings. Define work. Oh, thank you so much, Dr. Midnight. This is actually, um, this is a, what you call it? This is a commission. South, oh, second shift. What is that, like afternoon? I was thinking afternoon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that. Because, like, you got, you got, like, the morning shift, which I, I would think that's one. Then two would be, like, afternoon and then, like, you know. The fun people? Okay.
What's up, Black Dragon? Ooh, why am I on throat? Hello? Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. Hello? Me, 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 me. What the hell is going on? Why my throat is like, ugh. I hope I'm not getting sick, bro. I really, oh my God. Please, God. Please, don't do it. Don't do it, bro. <laughs> Please. Uh. Bro, <laughs> if you cook, I'm cooked. <laughs> <laughs> if you cooked, I'm cooked, bro. What's up, Black Dragon? Bro! <laughs> I need a Ricola, bro. Justin. I need something for this throat, bro. I need some tea or something. <laughs> Bro, I need a Ricola, like, for real? <laughs> I need a Ricola. Dude. It sound like when, it sound like when, you know, you know when you don't want to get up from your bed type vibes? This is what it's giving. <clears throat> oh, damn, man. Please, God. I want it, man. I hope not. I didn't. I didn't do nothing yesterday. What was I doing yesterday? Was I screaming? Was I when I was, was I screaming when I was playing the game? Nah, I couldn't be that, bro. Oh, okay, Kimi. Was I? Oh, wee! <laughs> it was. What's up, Allie? How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Excuse my voice. Excuse my voice. I think um, I think Afro was right. It was me screaming, playing Spider-Man. Because I was like, oh, wee, I did that. <laughs> I remember that, too. I was like, I did that, bro. <laughs> I was legit doing that, bro. <laughs> Yo, I love video games, bro. Like, I don't care. I'm an artist, but I'm a gamer at heart, bro. Like, I don't got... Guess what I forgot to add to her? Guten morning. <laughs> Get the freak out. Bye. Your black jack out here dying, bro. The Xmas patch? You mean for uh for paleo? Bro, I haven't touched paleo in a grippity grip. I mean like I've been so busy, I have not even touched that bad boy. Bro, that's bad. That's bad. It's Okay, Kiki, with the inner German. Ew, he said I got 3%. <laughs> he was like, I got 3%. Ew. <laughs> Good in touch. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, I got, I got you. I got you that because like, I didn't get nothing for Raider. Tell him I love him still. Um... <laughs> But I got to chew that because I saw it. Me, well, actually, Justin saw it. Yeah, Paleo is really good. Um, Justin saw it. He was like, yo, Vess, wouldn't this be cool? And I looked, and I was like, oh, my God, she looks just like Lexi. I need to get that for her. So um, we was in the, uh, we was at the, when we was at the con, I was eyeballing it. Cause it was the only one there and i was like if it's the only one there that means it's like if it's there by the time the the con is over it's meant for lexi bro it's got to be for her so 
um, I was looking up on uh, Hot Topic if they had it, and they did for sale. So I was like, Justin, this is on sale for X, Y, and Z. And he was like, oh, I bet. So towards the end, he went over there and he was like, listen, I could get this in a Hot Topic for less than this. And he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll lower the price for you. So Justin was like, you think Blasey Blah is a good deal? And I was like, yeah, because uh, I, won't, I won't have to pay for shipping. Like, it's basically as if I, you know, I bought it and got shipped. So he was like, all right, bet. So as soon as I got it in my hands and I, like, looked at the, I looked at it, I was like, that's Lexi, bro. The hairstyle, the everything. I was like, that's Lexi. It, you might not know the, you might not know the character, but I was like, that's Lexi, bro. You might you might not know the character, but I was like that that's my girl right there, bro. So you know if you take her out the box and you put her in your shelf, cause I know you have like a shelf with like figurines, you don't gotta tell people who it is. Just say that's me. <laughs> Be like that's me, bro. <laughs> Listen, it be like that. Like, I'll go somewhere, I'll be like, oh, that, that looked like so-and-so. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was a, it was a, I, don't, don't take it as anything as I thought of you. And then, yeah, that's what it was. It was a, I, oh, that's Lexi right there. Let me get that. <laughs> So it was. It's not. It's not Christmas. It's not birthday. It's just that I thought of you. I wanted to send it to you because I thought of you, and I thought that that'd be cute for you to have. <laughs> so when I go, when I go to your house, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad. Cause I, I was like, I hope she don't take this as like, oh, that's got me a gift. No. Vess was thinking about you. Vess and Justin was thinking about you. And that's why you ended up with what you got. <laughs> and we see... Lex, Raider almost got a gift too. Because we was at the flea market and they had these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I was like, does he got this Yu-Gi-Oh card? Because it was like... It was one of the Egyptian cards. And I remember he came to the house with Egyptian cards. And I was like, man, I think he got this thing. Because if he don't got this thing, bro, we coming back and we going to get it. We coming back and we going to go get it. <laughs> because, you know, I just we just thought about him. Like, oh, that's, that got to be Raider, bro. Like, Raider will like this card here. Yeah, I think he has, I think he has, because um, what was it? It was, I think, Slither the Sky Dragon. And I think he has that in a holographic form. You see, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it because I remember seeing him with three cards. So I was like, if I find, um, yeah, I did. Cause I remember seeing it. So I was like, okay, bet. Yeah. He wanted them cards. But if like, I don't know if he has, um, I did not see it yet, but if, uh, what is that? He, he does. He, he has, ob yeah, he got obelisk. What's the other dude? Hold up. If I find some blue eyes white dragons or anything like that, I'm getting that for him. And if it's like legit too, because I don't like the fake stuff. Yours Arctic McBear cards? I gotta look that up to see what that looks like so that I could um uh I could keep it in mind. So that like let, let me say and let's say if I ever see it, I'll think about him. <laughs> but yeah. I be think I'll be thinking about y'all. I think I think about y'all a little bit too much. <laughs> <Let's talk. laughs> You're like, get the out of here, Vess. <laughs> no, nah, but I'll be thinking about y'all like a lot. It'd be me and Justin though. Like me and Justin be like, wait a minute. I think ex I think I think this right here. Yeah, Blasey would like that. And then I got your address, so, you know, I don't got to ask you for nothing. <laughs> I don't got to ask you for nothing. I got to do is send it. And be like, oh, I sent you something. Just keep an eye out, you know. Oh, my God. So, boom. 
I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. But I ended up drawing, um, I ended up drawing a sketch of Alicia and these kids. So if I finish this, if I finish this early, I'll show you guys what I'm working on. <laughs> but that's because Valkyrie was like, bro, you need to draw them. <laughs> Valkyrie was like, I need to see them kids. And I was like, all right, babe, I got you. So I drew them in like 10 year old format. So like you get the in between of like, you can, you can picture if they were a child or not. But I might do baby versions because I think baby versions would be so freaking cute. Man, imagine just like little baby horns with the little baby tail. Oh my God. And it doesn't have a lot of feathers. It has like maybe those poofy like feathers where it kind of looks like a poof. Like have you ever seen penguins when they were little? <laughs> Like that? Dude, it'd be so cute. Dude, I'm doing it. I'm making it, bro. I'm making it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, bro. And that's because you guys rolled it. So, like, uh, when when Matt has said it on his stream, the community was like, y'all, you need to draw that first. And I was like, I do, though. <laughs> I do. Oh man, and then I, I did I did I didn't shy away of the idea of like they don't have to look like their parents. So I was like, all right, bet I'm gonna make a black one, I'm gonna make a green one. Cause like I was trying to like base it on the moons of like the day that the parents Yes. I I based their colors on the moon, like the moons of that that period, which was uh Arabelle and it starts with an S. It starts with an S. Damn it. Damn it, y'all. I can't. It's, it starts with an S. So one of the moons is like a, a light red color, almost like, you know, you got that pinkish look, right? And then one of them is a bluish green color. So like you get, they got the, sh it shifts into blue and green. And then the other moon wasn't existent because again, it, the seasons change. So that moon is not there. So I got a black, I got a black little one, a black baby, a green baby, a pinkish, like a pinkish red baby. And I got like a, like a nice galaxy blue baby. <laughs> Dude, I've been having fun with it. And then like, I, w I want yellow to be the theme of each of the kids so it can match the parent. And I know that, like, th that's not going to, like, whatever, whatever. I wanted just hints of yellow to match. So I added, like, oh, my God, it's so freaking cool. So, like, with the black one, um, I went with this, like, there's this snake that's black and red, but it has, like, a yellow hue around it. So I, I did that for one of the babies. And then the other one, I made it into a garden snake with like the green and then like the the yellow that kind of like comes out and then it stripes down. And then I don't know what I'm going to do for the pinkish one. I'm trying to figure that out. I don't want it to look too much like how Alicia is. So I'm going to like give it spots. And then uh, the the blue one, the dark blue one, I'm thinking of making it a spotted like snake where it's like he has white and yellow to his like to his like color scheme. But I don't know what to do with the pink one. Like the yellow works well with the pink one, but I just really don't know what kind of like pattern I want to go with the pink one. I don't know if I should just make it like a salamander where it's just like pink and it shifts and like just keep it like how Alicia is. Like, just a pure salamander look. Maybe I should. Just keep it like a pure salamander look. And then give her markings. Like, how Alicia is. Just because. It's, dude, it's freaking cute. It's freaking cute. I've been, like, planning this whole entire time how it's going to look. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. But, yeah, that's that's thanks to you guys. You guys always, like, <laughs> y'all being part of this whole story, rolling in my chat for this type of stuff when the Dungeon Master is here. That's hilarious. First, first of all, that's hilarious. Second of all, 
I enjoy it. All right, I enjoy it. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun. I can't wait to like keep drawing. Like, cause I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I think we're gonna be besties. I think like it's gonna be, it's gonna be mask and sell. They're gonna be like the crazy besties that like they put like they will push her to do things, right? Like, yo, you need to do this thing because we know that you like, yeah, right? And then you got Isley who's like, washes her hand of the situation. She's the bestie that like washes her hands of the situation. It's like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do that, right? <laughs> Dude, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I love our group. I don't care what anybody say, bro. I love our group. Our group is like so dope. Sal over here. Dude, that one picture had me... I was like, yo, I love this picture. I love how, like... Oh, my God. Lexi. <laughs> would you say that you're, like... Yeah, I think your friendship with Sal is, like, bestie-like, bestie -like almost. Oh. I, I will hope the hell so. Because um, I know me... Um, Chibi, I'm pretty sure Lexi is ready. So he got three people. He got three people. I worked out today. I stretched my neck today. We straight. We straight, y'all. You know what? Let me... No, there is... There should be. There should be. Let me... I'll double check for you guys. I will text Matt right now. Don't even play with me. I'll be like, yo, we having D&D &D tonight? Because I will say yay because he didn't put in an announcement that he's not having it. So I will say yes for right now. If anything changes, I'll let y'all know. But um, the girls is like, are you ready? And I'm, well, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. Hey, look at this body though. She got that body. Yaddy 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 yaddy. Bro, ow. I've been getting really confident with my lines ever since. Like I've been. Y'all saw that spicy picture I drew on coffee, bro. I got messages in the morning, bro. I got messages in the morning. Man, they were like, bro. <laughs> Dude, did y'all see it? I got messages in the morning. They were like, bro, Vess, you was cooking. <laughs> Let her simmer, bro. <laughs> it was like that was steaming. <laughs> Have me rolling. Dude, exclamation point coffee. Go to Pirates of the Glass Sea. It is the, it's like the, it's the, it's the picture I was drawing on stream. But there's two pictures to it. So like you click that picture and then you swipe. It was the simmer. It was the crack went pop, bro. <laughs> bro, all I gotta do is go look at it, bro. Dude, I got, I got so many messages that day. It was hilarious. I was like, ain't no way you guys didn't think I was going to make a spicy picture. Like, there ain't no way. There ain't no way, bro. I don't draw penetration, but I will draw some damn nudity, baby. I will. <laughs> Just got to say that. <laughs> That's all I got to say, bro. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> It was del it was delicious, baby. <laughs> it was delicious. Not you being right back. I'm dead. <laughs> oh man, dude. I I think I'm getting sick too, bro. <laughs> It's a rap, bro. <laughs> Listen. I 
I've been having mad fun with that bad boy. Damn, you know what I should have did? I should have asked Isley if she wanted like this in my watercolor color. My watercolor. That would have looked dope. <laughs> you sort of. <laughs> Listen, I got message heavy for that, bro. They were like vest, <laughs> vest. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? <laughs> I was like, I'm doing the things that I'm doing. The, I'm doing the Lord's work right now. Bro. <laughs> it was hilarious. I ain't never in my days, bro. I ain't never in my days seen anybody. I was out here doing the Lord's work. You know what? I kind of like the nails on her. So we're going to keep those nails. It's like, but Vest, you drew it. Is there an op there was there an option to get rid of them? Absolutely there was an option, especially if Isley didn't like them. But you know. Dude. Dude, the freaking sound effects is an inside joke for uh me and uh Chibi. Because there's this one, this, this SNL thing that she had shown me. And the dude was like, he's like, bing, 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 bing. Girl, you crapping. <laughs> they goes, splish, splash, water, drip, drop. <laughs> and I was like, bro, I need to add those sound effects. <laughs> ah, it was funny. And she was like, best dude. <laughs> no chill, bro. No chill in the chamber. No chill in the chamber, man. You know what? I'm gonna. Hmm. <laughs> hey. I, I'm with I'm with little Bean on that. I wouldn't want to just spend a random night with a with just a random dude, right? I, little Bean is my uh is my conscious, bro. <laughs> little Bean just be dropping the facts. Ill, that's creepy. <laughs> it was probably like a that's that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> like a, that's weird. That's strange. That's suspicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yo, kids be saying the darnest things. I swear. I gotta say I'm in the mood for a little bit more. Eh? Yo, we be thirsty, bro. <laughs> we be thirsty for these love scenes. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't care what anybody say. We be out here thurming, bro. We're like, what? What are you finna give us? Bet. We be thirsty for these things. I wonder if I should have did this. Hmm. Because I don't like how, like, not uniform it is. But at the same time. I don't know, y'all. I might have to like do one of these. Hold up, we about to we about to use a a pattern for this. Just because I want it to look a certain type of way. Ah, bro, I should bring that back. Oh God, I should bring that back. It should, yo, yo, I should bring that back. Okay, man. And we could do um, we could do a picture of a week. Like one picture a week. 
So, like, um, you know, Fridays is our whatever days. So, like, I could just draw a picture. Bro. Do I, do I tempt, do I tempt the Twitch gods? Do I? Do I do it? <laughs> just bring that bad boy back real quick. You know I mean? just, for, just for a month, bro. If they kick me out, bro. I should tempt it. I should tempt it. Kimmy. Bright ideas. We got bright ideas. Because we do. Bro, we about to listen to mother freaking Wakanda Forever track in a minute. Bro, I love romance, man. Like, I love the romance scenes. I love all that, bro. But the thing about it is, though, like, let's be for real. Like, the same. Sometimes you got to be honest with them kids. Because, like, they will never learn. And then they'll be ignorant to the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, my grandmother told me, everything at a young age and i was like i don't i don't want none of it <laughs> yeah yeah you know like you you got you got to let them know or they'll be so ignorant to the whole situation and they they'll take it like a game you know what i'm saying cuz like my sister took it as a game you know i'm like girl you know what i mean That's wild. Honestly. 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 Yeah, no. Don't 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 lie to my baby. Don't lie to my baby. Mm mm. Don't do it. Don't lie to my baby now. Yes, we claim we can we claim the Pulsey kids here. You hear I me? Mean? If you're a Pulsey and you are a parent Pulsey, we claim your kids here too, all right? They they are kids too. <laughs> How are babies is doing? They doing good. <laughs> They're the spark of your life. They're the spark of our lives. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, but for real. Yeah. I'm I'm glad that you're open with her because I had to be open with like you know my siblings because my mom she will do it but like tell you the truth I don't I don't I feel like <laughs> you need a license to have sex because my mother was reckless <laughs> like for real. Like she would, she would like, she would. It, it was weird. Her uh, conversations with her were weird, and I'm like, sis. Um, you gonna need a you need you gonna need a medical book because <laughs> you feel me like you're you're giving doo doo butter vibes right now. <laughs> Listen. It's just those. There's just certain people, bro. Certain people, you just like, yo. But it was it, like tell you the truth. I think my grandmother learned from her mistake with like teaching my mother anything, cause I I don't think I don't think she went over the birds and the bees with my mom. <laughs> I don't think she did, bro. I think I think she she failed in that department, and um when when I. When I was, uh, when she was, you know, helping the raising me. Oh, damn. I'm glad you're not selling no more. Damn. Good. I'm glad you're happy. Um, yeah, I think she failed my mom, bro. And, um, when it came down to me, she let me know all the nitty gritty. She let me know all the nitty gritty, bro. At age 11, I knew things, bro, that I was like, I wish I didn't know this, bro. 
Okay. Living, living, living the vibes. Don't stop. Winning is winning. No other. What's good in your thoughts? Yeah, I can't. I do really like this idea of like having this braid here because I did it for. I did this. Uh, the same design for that goddess that I had, and I was like, I do want the. I I kind of want the same like. The 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 kind of same design because like. When I when I first met Amatina, she gave me Richie. <laughs> You know, rich, mm, you know, like she gave me that vibe. And I was like, I don't know about this chick here. And then like, you know, she knew that she was supposed to be, you know, she's hope, right? Like that's her thing. And, um, I was like, you know, being that your hope and stuff like that, maybe, uh, you know, we could give you those like real. That'd be hilarious, <laughs> dude. Imagine having beef with the, a PC. <laughs> oh my god! I wonder how that will go because you're a bard, so you'll be like perfect for like. Pranking. <laughs> You'll be perfect for pranking, bro. I will I will hate to get on your bad side. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Oh, thank you so much, Lane. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I think, I think she's like, she's trying to come back into her godlyhood, bro. You said she need to be brought down a peg. <laughs> I am dead. Not, not Templeton's mustache. Welcome to the Pulse family, Lane. I appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. You know what? I kind of want to put these like flowers here. I'm going to be going to the buffet with my family on Sunday. So. I need me to London. I must be what my name is. No, no. That I run to, and then they search and rush you, and I'm coming back to my senses, back to your breathing. You're who I am in love. Listen, <clears throat> yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Just hanging out with my family, for real. I don't... Uh, um, and then, like, I'm going to draw what happened this week. Because I'm caught up. <laughs> I'm caught up. I'm caught up in Alicia Nee's notebook, bro. I thought it would never happen. I thought it would never happen. Thank you, Kimmy. That's for you. Listen, I'm caught up, baby. I didn't think I was ever going to get caught up. Because me, me, while I was, like, drawing pictures and stuff for my notes, I was like, 
I was debating. I was debating dummy hard. I was like, bro, should I even like, should I even draw all this, right? Because like how the cast changed or whatever. And I was like, man, a lot of that stuff was irrelevant because we was fighting the whole time. Like the whole time we was fighting. So um, I was like, man, what would I do for that? And I was like, do two pictures per session, sis. And it hit me in the head. And I was like, bet, say less. So I started drawing two pictures per session. Like, everything that was, like, important to Alicia and me, I was like, boom, boom, boom. And then, like, when I put it up on coffee, I just made, like, a, a brief description of what happened that season that made her feel the way that she felt. So now, like, if you read the notes, it's, like, in her words and, like, what she's thinking at the time. You feel me? Like, and then, like, I put a title on it. So, like, each image has a title. It's not, like... It's not like a part one anymore. Like, I had part one, part two, part three. So, now it's been, like, just... So, it could feel a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? But, still be short. Bro, I was supposed to watch the Gamer Awards. Did not watch it. Because Juju didn't come home till late, right? So he started playing this. Uh, I, I think he was playing something. What he was playing, y'all? He was playing. Oh, he was playing that Lego game on Fortnite. Um, so he's been like Legoing it up. I didn't miss anything. Bet. Bet. Oh really? Damn. Damn. I thought it was gonna be good at least. Was there any good announcements? Like, are you excited for any games that, like, they had announced? Get the freak out. Interesting, interesting. Let me say this. <laughs> was it giving arc <laughs> I hope I drew this damn thing hold up I'm gonna see if I drew it because if I did I'm copying and pasting y'all Your mother. Oh, damn. So I'm going to have to copy paste, put in this place type vibes. Uh, I respect it. <laughs> I respect it, bro. <laughs> I will do it. I will do it. I, I will do that. Superhuman. He said, right, I got popping. Look at Bro. Dude. Dude, you saw how Indra, Indra's Alba did not show up. Because <laughs> I did watch a little bit of it because Justin is watching it currently. And I went and I did my walking. I did my next choices and stuff like that. So, like, I was, like, paying attention. And these cat, his cat, he was nominated, was not even there, bro. I was wrong. I was like, he knew he wasn't winning that bad boy. He was like, man, <laughs> I'm not in there, bro. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I was rolling. Mm Nah, man's did not show up, bro. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> bro, <laughs> did he even show up, bro? <laughs> the 
this is some visionary ish. <laughs> Dude. I was like, wild. This man did not show up, bro. <laughs> Yes. Do you know what day my doctor's appointment is? Because it's not in the calendar. January something something. Why? Uh -oh. So I just thought it was coming up. Soon. Nah, it's in January. Yeah, it's not in the calendar. Well, you can always look on my email, I think. Yeah, well, what's the day that of the convention? I thought that was in the calendar too, but it's not. <laughs> The no, Mahoney no. County one? Yeah. Mahoney. Uh. I'm looking now. Never mind. I'll get it. Hmm? 16. Might put it in the calendar. Yeah, put it in the calendar because that's coming up soon. Yeah. Um, hold on. I'm we trying got, to find. We got to spend more for that day, but it's not showing up on the. Was it? Oh, snap. Oh, we got a Christmas thing going on over here. Do y'all see this little Christmas stuff over here? Look at this, y'all. What's this? Let me get that. What's going on with the stream decks? The stream deck got this little snow thing up on top of it. I kind of like that. Um, hold up. I'm trying to... Justin? I'm trying to find Justin's appointment, y'all. Because I remember it was in January. Oh! Ah, okay. Yeah, it is. Trying to find Juju's, trying to find Juju's stuff here, y'all. View the summary. Login. I, did it get harder ever since uh, Bungie got bought out by, what you call it? Bro, my doctor wants me to be 200 pounds when I go back. You think I can make it? <laughs> you think I can make it, y'all? Illuminate magic. We shine like magic. Illuminate magic. We shine like magic. Ah. That sucks. Thank you. I appreciate it because I lost 11 pounds. I went back and she was like, girl. I was like, what? She was like, 11 pounds? What? And I was like, yes. <laughs> so I was excited. I feel a lot lighter. I noticed a difference in my clothing and the way I look. So like. And I'm eating regular food. I'm eating regular food. Let that sink, bro. It's January 9th at uh, 9, 9.15 a.m. So let me put that in there. January, January 9th. Calendar, 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 calendar uh, for Justin. Justin is January. If I could get to January... So January. So 
Dude, mm -mm. when you got that glow, when you got that glow, you got that glow, when 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 you got that glow. That sucks. I don't usually do this, but uh, can I send to you? Yeah. You're my hours. I could do this for hours. Didn't talk to you for hours. I want to be your flower and some champagne flowers. Go to shrimp and rust towers. But it's me that gets the word. What's up, Gothic? You sit me up on the counter. You sit me up on the shower. When you finish with the shower, I could do this for hours. Then hours, then hours. I could do this for hours. Damn. Not it being goofy. Get out of here. Do this hours and hours and hours. And hours. Yeah. They had you working, working. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, did you hear that there's a winter event in Paleo? <laughs> Bro, all these pictures that I've been drawing of, like, our characters, he might as well make, he might as well make it, bro. He might as well make, like, it into a bathhouse type thing. Like, just everything bathhouse, bro. Because <laughs> look at this, bro. <laughs> like, look at this, bro. Yo, I gotta use the bathroom. I'll be right back. That's what happens when Keeman keeps you hydrated, bro. A sim set? Yo, honestly. Honestly, hands down. Yes. Yes. Sims? Yo, right now, you can, like, have a multiple apartment complexes. Bro, wait till I'm done with Spider-Man. That's what I gotta say, because I did get that.
bro. I think my tendonitis in the back of my leg came back, bro. I'm gonna have to get up and get water later. But it'll be alright. What are we doing? Um, kind of run up high. Um, definitely do. That rage quit balance your work on, right? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> you No, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so for Sims, Sims has this thing where it's a, you can make apartment complexes and have different Sims live underneath the same roof, but not really live underneath the same roof, if that makes any sense. So, like, let's say if you want to make a loft or, like, a, um, a condo, like a complex, or, like, a place where they have, like, a little, like, you know those little gated communities? You can make a gated community in motherfucking Sims. So I was thinking we'll take the biggest lot and make, like, a little gated community and, like, make Sims for that area. <laughs> I thought that'd be kind of cool. Sure. Yes. Yes, you can. They just came out with the, uh, they came up with the update with it and also, uh, it's a pack. It's a pack, bro. So I bought the pack. I bought it. I pre-ordered that bad boy. And I crap you not. I crap you not. I cannot wait. Because we're going we gonna to turn that bad boy on. We're going to go ahead and make this Sims, damn it. We're going to do it. I thought it'd be kind of cool if I did it on stream. So that we can, all, we can design the houses together. And, like, come up with stuff. And, like, we could do, like, polls. And you guys could vote. Like, I think that'd be kind of cool. Yes, dude. When whenever we get Sims Five, Sims Five is about to be like another GTA. Like that stuff gonna look hella good. Legit, bro. Oh my God, Afro. Yes, I'm a simmer. I'm a simmer at heart, bro. It's a one-off. Somebody commissioned me to make this card for them. Um, so I, I play in a and d I, I play D&D Fridays and Mondays. This is for the Friday group. Um, her name is Julie, and she hired me to make her and her uh, her lover in the in the D&D campaign as a card. So I, um, I sent her off the sketch and stuff like that, and, like, um, she told me the, the stuff that... I, needed to be edited and then um she was like i love it though and i was like i bet I, i'm gonna start working on it um so i decided to work on it today but yes girl <laughs> they relationship like we root for them because like her her girlfriend is a god like for real like a god or you could say her her betrothed, because at this point, like, she proposed to her. And I don't know if she said yay or nay, but I don't know. Don't matter. They together, though. Like, that's all that matters, that they together. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I was like, bet, I want to, like, I want to add this, like, I wanted to add flowers in certain areas and stuff, and... She kind of gave me free freedom to, like, really go in on this card. But our DM has been very, like, he loves every piece that we've, <laughs> we've been coming up with. Because, you know, the, the group is asking, like, the group is paying me to do these type of art pieces for them. I'm like, we put this together, bro. <laughs> we could make something out of it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what we could do, but we could make something out of it. Because it's, it's already drawn, you feel me? It's already drawn. We about to be the next critical role, bro. Like, especially with these spicy scenes. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> like, hello? <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> yeah, but this, re this relationship had put our... Our previous cast in a in the chokehold. I mean, like in a chokehold, and that's because you know she's a god, and um, we was like, bro, like she's supposed to be in the heavenly realm, and she's over here, like, 
you know, we love love for Isley, but like, damn, bro, like she's like for real messing with people to the point where they're like, they don't have enough hope to live type stuff. And that's not good. Right. Um, so that's like where our, all of our minds was at. And like, for me to help the story push, like I had to like remove my feelings out of it. Like I was like, bro, when it comes, when at the end of the day, there has to be a light in the tunnel, right? Like, there has to be a light in the tunnel. So I was like, you know, I, I we know she's supposed to go back. We know that, like, she needs to go to this heavenly realm or whatever. But, you know, we, we I, I didn't want my, like, in, in my brain, I was like, Alicia Nee wouldn't want her friend to suffer the what ifs and like all that. So I kind of let it go. Like I let it go. I was like, you know, she's suffering enough with the idea of, you know, this can't be a a forever thing. Like she's going to have to go back. So, you know, I'm just going to love, love for her at this point. But it's a huge dilemma. It's a huge dilemma. It's really good though. I love the I love the storyline that we came out with. Yeah, Yeah, but it's it's been a it's been a dilemma, bro. It's been a dilemma. But I like I like I like them as a couple. Like it's I think it's real cute. The fact that your your goddess is like the goddess of hope. Like love is another form of hope if you look at it. Cuz like you're hoping to receive that love back. You feel me? Like you're hoping to see that future, you know? You're hoping to be next to them all the time. It's almost like wishing every day, right? Like giving a wish or a prayer every day. I'm not reading your comments again. It all makes sense because you Yeah, but we coming up with the idea of like maybe we're the ones that like of course you need your influence, your inspirations, but you know, maybe we could be the inspirations to, or maybe we need to be the inspiration so she could be able to go back willingly. But she's getting blocked. She's getting blocked by this dude, bro. I can't stand Siren, bro. Like <laughs> that kid. He be getting curb stomped too every single time. I we see him on site. She be like <laughs> curb stomped. <laughs> he get no. He don't get no like villain talk. Like you know, you know how like villains like to talk your ear off. You know, yo, shut the up. <laughs> get the hell out of my face, bro. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to have, like, the hair, 
like swoop in like this I don't know why but I kind of want it so we're gonna do it we're gonna have it where like just full hair bro like come on I just want to say hi to my lover <laughs> well, let me stop here we go I just wanna ride and get high in the moonlight. I just wanna get high with my lover. Get high in the I'm gonna give her makeup, y'all. I'm gonna like put some like. I wonder if I should do like a dark green makeup on her. Mm, girl. <laughs> you know the one that kind of rubs off and you're like, damn. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> so, yo, I don't know what I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is. I just wanna run and get high with the moonlight. With my lover. Yep, let me let me quit. I'm telling you, the way that I be thinking, uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure anybody who's like new to the community is like, yo, Vess. She gotta, she gotta like women, bro. <laughs> like, on guys. And that's not, that's not the case, bro. I just be thinking about things. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I bet. I think I, I really like this. I think I'm gonna keep it, cause I made the I made the fingers a little bit shorter, cause you know this is, this is uh, I don't know, this is Isley we talking about. So you know I think her hand will be like kind of coming over here like that. Yeah, that's what's gonna be. You know just grabbing that girl up, <laughs> grab her by the. Man, yeah, there we go. Okay, now what I need is these damn roses. Cause roses is red. Roses, ro 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 roses is red. Hey, ro 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 roses is red. Dude, I wish, I wish that your girl Vess, I wish your girl Vess did not attach these together, but I sure did. I was like, F me. Just with a capital F because like, what the hell? I gotta put her tattoos on too. Ooh, you gonna get that? You gonna cop that? I'm about to put this right here. I'm about to put this right back up. Cause I'm not redrawing that ball. Run away to the pick of me. For me, I'm going away. So far away, I don't know you. Cause I'm loving you. Yeah. Hey. Let me turn this blue so I can see what the hell I'm doing, bro. Uh, do I want the roses to be this way or do I want it to be this way? Kind of like them like that. Cause it is every time we're 
He ate this song up, bro. He ate this song up. <laughs> Just... We're going to play all the love songs today, y'all. Today, we're going to play some love songs. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this so that I can see what the hell I'm doing because I can't see. I can't see. I can't see it. The night will be the night that I will fall for you. Don't make me change my mind. I won't live to see another day. I swear it's true. <laughs> You're impossible to find. You better go ahead, Kiki. You sing that. Damn it. <laughs> not the ill. Oh, I thought I was ill. Not the ill, bro. What? I feel like ill. Love? Major loser. <laughs> Y'all some major losers. <laughs> I see how you feel, Afro. Damn. I didn't know you was that salty. I didn't know you was that salty. <laughs> like, Y'all some losers out here getting it. Y'all all lovey dovey. I'm kidding. Don't take me serious, Afro. Don't take me serious. I'm a clown. I know I'm a clown. I've always been a clown. Thank you for telling me to save. I'll tell you that much. Well, thank you for the save. Thank you for the save because I needed it. One thing I need is that save. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm putting up with over here? Okay, what I want to do is I want this to keep going down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down with this like this. And then we're just going to like add that and then say that that's the bottom of the flower. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all ever seen that? When home home skillet, she out here. Yes, yes, yes. You know what? I kind of wanted the whole stick to. How about we just let the whole stick go all the way up? Nah, that'd be too much. I think that's too much, bro. I think that's too much, bro. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bet we're going to get rid of this part here. Wait, she was doing, she was doing corn? <laughs> I didn't know she was into that. I don't know why she felt, I don't know why she felt the need to stop. She was doing fantastic, you know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I didn't know she was out here doing corn. <laughs> I need to find relief. I'm out here. Get out of here. You know what? Maybe she stopped because you remember how they were saying how like being an NPC was basically it was basically a fetish. Maybe that's why. Cause like she was getting accused of like 
She was getting accused of that. Listen, I don't know why people, I don't know why people do that, man. They be like, they be releasing the bag too quick. You feel me? Because I would have not. The freak. Like, y'all gonna be mad. Y'all gonna stay mad. Y'all gonna have to stay mad because I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do me. Like, I heard they get thousands of dollars, bro. Thousands of dollars. A day. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. You ain't gonna knock my hustle, bro. Absolutely not. After they, after they were like, oh, she do porn, open a OnlyFans fan at that point. Sis, put up your videos. <laughs> you feel me? Make that money. <laughs> like, don't stop. Can't stop. You know, like, I don't know, man. It could not be me, man. Could not be me. <laughs> could not be me. I'm toxic. So, that my toxic personality would do that. You know what I mean? Listen, can't stop, won't stop, bro. Can't stop, won't stop, bro. She a grown woman. Yes. Uh, yes. J just to just to be an NPC, they be getting like that much. Yo, Lexi Wolf, thank you so much for the sub. -boo. Oh, snap. You better go ahead, sis. Out here. I break my head back and forth. I break my head back and forth. Whip it well, good. <laughs> you know what? I need to stop. <laughs> Bro, yeah, man. Yeah, she she was getting paid. Her and that uh NPC Spider-Man, Miles Morales. He was getting paid. That's why I was like, could could not be me, bro. I would have been like, all right, bet. You wanna you wanna uh you wanna put me out there? Say less. Cause like let's say if she was like, I don't know if she was a real porn star or not. But, like, if she was, I would have been like, say less. I would have made an Oni's fan real quick, bro. Real quick. And a hop, skip, and a jump type vibes. You feel me? Instantly. <laughs> Instantly, guy. They would have been like, what is going on? Don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to, like, do this part here, but it's all right, bro. Unless they did that AI mess that they've been doing to people and, like, making it seem like they was in, they were doing porn, but they wasn't. Like, they've been taking their head and, like, putting it on people. I think that happened to Pokemon, right? Like, somebody AI'd her. Making love to somebody or something like that. Like they they done they all that. That's that's some creepy stuff too, bro. Oh oh oh. No way. That got leaked. Bro, how? You see... <laughs> I don't know, man. Did her man leak that? Did her man leak that, bro? Or did she leak it? For clout. That's the question. Those be the questions I be asking myself, bro. Like... Get the freak out of here. It was like, let me video record. But you know what? Let's not only video record. Let's do it in a van. That's wild, bro. That's off, that's off, that's off the chain, bro. That's out of pocket. <laughs> Who leaked that? <laughs> 
Yo, I know she tight. See, this look beautiful, bro. Of course, I got to paint all the flowers again. But you know what? I'm proud of it. Let's do not save this, though. I think we, I think we did it. Oh, I gotta add the flowers to this girl hair. Like, what am I doing, baby? Gotta put some lavender in here, bro. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in love and loyalty, loyalty, hey. Bet. What I'm hearing out. In loyalty, loyalty. They, I know that a lot of people feel like that that's self-hate. Like, they're like, oh, you don't love your skin. That's why you do what you do. Um, I know there's people with skin conditions that do it. Let's tell you the truth. I think it's just mostly, like, a whole community thing. Because, like, black women get crap for their skin. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're darker, they see you more as masculine than anything. They don't see the femininity in you. And they don't, like... The most disrespected woman on the planet is a black woman. Like, let's just be for real. Um, you know what I'm saying? Not only hypersexualized, but also just disrespected in any type of way. And, like, isn't like they have to be seen as hard. They can't be seen as soft. And even if they try to be soft, people think that they have, like, some type of agenda and stuff like that. So that's, like, that's like the, the stereotypes that's out there. And it's, like, you know... People are trying to break that cycle. So, like, when they see a woman do that, like, a black woman do that, they're like, bro, like, stop self-hating on yourself and, like, just love the skin that you're in. It is, it is body shaming, but it's, like, it's a, it's a double area because it's, like, it's like, it's like two, it's like, it's like a double-edged sword, right? Because the thing about it is, yes, it's body shaming because you're like getting mad at people for lightening their skin, but also it's also something that has to do with like a race aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole situation on like colorism and stuff like that. So like, it's not just, it's just not only the body shaming lane. It's also in cahoots with the colorism and all that you know what i'm saying because like so some women lighten their skin especially like actors and uh singers and stuff like that so that they could make it big you know what i'm saying because i don't know if you've seen um uh, who's that one person i forgot who it was but like Sa sammy sosa would be like the You know, again, the tanning the skin thing has also been an issue with, uh, like, black women that, like, uh, seeing, like, white women tan their, like, tan their skin, like, super tan, like, Ariana Grande type stuff, they get mad. They get mad at that type of stuff. So, like, I'm telling you, it's, it's something that's, like, a double-edged sword because it's, it's, like, in the same lane, like I've seen it both ways. I've seen it both ways. I've seen people be mad and be like, "Oh, you want you want to look like a black woman, but you don't want the responsibilities of one." And that, like, honestly, like that happens every single time. 
every single time. So like, it's 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 a thing. It's a thing. Like it's a thing. I know that it's like. Personally, I don't care. Like, if you tan, you tan. If you lighten, you lighten. That's just, that's something that you prefer for yourself. And if you love it, you love it. Like, there's, there's, in my opinion, I don't give a damn what you do as long as you're not hurting nobody. You, you feel me? I don't care where you at, what you're doing, who you in bed with. I don't give a damn what you do with your life as long as you're not hurting nobody. It's none of my business. It is none of my business. You know what I'm saying? It's none of my damn business. Like, I have hyperpigmentation. You can see right here. Like, I don't know if you see it, but I have hyperpigmentation. Where, like, my skin, I have darker patches on my skin. I hate it. Am I going to lighten my skin? No. Why? Because it's routine. And I don't, like, I, I hate doing something over and over again. I don't know how it's going to react with my body. Like, there's, like, a lot of things, and I don't want to get lighter. I just don't want to. I want to stay my tan color. I want to stay my brownish color, right? Like, I want to be brown. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not going to do it. But that's me. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's like, oh, Vess, I would definitely do it. And th that's you. Do it, bro. Enjoy that bad boy. <laughs> Yeah, no. Yeah, it's not. It's not fair. Because the thing is, it's like, oh, you can't do that. You should love the skin you're in and, like, all this extra stuff. And it's like, okay, but, you know what I'm saying? With all the, all the repercussions that they have received so far, you know what I'm saying? To say that to somebody is being deaf. Like, it's, it's basically like saying, oh, well, your voice doesn't matter. You feel me? Because, like, of course my voice don't matter. Because y'all y'all didn't care about my voice from Jump Street. So, like, for me to do whatever I want to do, it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, again, I'm Afro-Latina, but I'm on the lighter side. I'm on the lighter side of things. So, like, sure, I experienced racism and all that. But not at the depths of somebody who's way darker than me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm never going to, like, understand that. So I respect it. Whatever they do, whatever they come to terms with, I respect it, bro. Because, like, they deserve that respect as much as anybody else deserves uh, to be heard and do what they want to do. It's your life. Do what you want to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you want to, If you want to smoke crack all day and... You feel like that's what you want to do for you, then do do you boo like you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I will never, I will never like put myself in a posi uh, a position where I'll be like putting somebody down for something that they want to do. Like the whole Michael Jackson stuff, people thought Michael Jackson is white. Well, he's not white, bro. He black, but he had to he he bleached his skin, and he said the reason why he did that was because he had hyperpigmentation. Yeah. Yeah. And it it's tell you the truth, it's the older generation, Afro. It's the older it the the older generation is messing things up. Yeah. And it you know, it's it, it's I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely frank with you, is the old is the older generation that does that to us though. Like it puts us in a, a situation of like it's programming. You know what I'm saying? Because like It's the whole thing of nurture versus nature, right? So in human in human mindset, nurturing, like actually teaching your children to go up in the way that they should go is going to stay with them. You feel me? And it's up to them in the end of the day when they get older to change that or like uh, break that cycle. But my whole thing, if you're programmed to do that and think that it's okay the whole entire time, you know, it, it's like, it's going to be a rinse and repeat type stuff. And then, like, it's, 
Like I don't know. I I, re- I remember what you was talking. We was talking about uh games in general. How like people were getting mad at you because you're like, oh yeah, I want to play this game and this game and this game, and they're like, oh no, we need a we need to skip the the Native American one. Let's go straight to this one. And you're like, damn, but I want to play the I want to play the Native American one. I want to like experience that. <laughs> and it's like. You know, you give people the side eye because of it. You're like, uh, what the freak? Um, it's kind of, it's giving, you know, <laughs> it, it's programmed. It's programmed. You know what I'm saying? Like with my comic, my comic, my character was, it was a meme. Right. So like with my comic, I, when I made Celestial Pulse, Fuji was like mad shades lighter than me. And when my husband, he found her, he was like, bro, um, Fuji seems like a character that, like, is like you. And I was like, yeah, she is. She's supposed to be, like, my alter ego. And he was like, well, why you don't make her look like you? Like, why is she this light-skinned woman? You're not (laughs) light-skinned. And I was like, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. So I made her darker. I made her darker because I was like, yeah. Hands down, hands down, I need to make her like me. Because if she's my alter ego, then she's supposed to be me in an alternate universe, right? So in my alternate universe, I want to look like me. Even I want to I want to be my skin. The only thing I changed was the eye colors because I was like, I, you know, it'd be kind of cool if I had purple eyes, right? And, like, I got purple eye contacts and all that, you know? But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like... I was like, I I want to, I still will be, I want to be in the skin that I want to be in, right? So, I ended up doing that, you know, I ended up uh, trading up the character to look a lot look more like me, and I loved it. I was like, this, she, she's gorgeous, and that, that's what got me more into wanting to do um, characters with even darker skin and curlier hair and all that stuff, and when, like, with now, with Fuji, People know the difference between her younger self versus her older self. Because they're like, her younger self has straighter hair and her older self has curlier hair. There's something up with that. And there is something up with that. This is the whole situation of finding yourself. And I felt like she was at that point, like, finding herself. You know what I'm saying? Accepting herself. It's all about acceptance. But again, people need to, like, Leave people alone, damn it. If they not if they not messing with you, if they not harming you or your family, just leave them alone, bro. Leave them alone. You can have your opinions and that's fine. Have your opinions, but don't feel like your opinions is law. Cuz it's not. Everybody's different. Their experiences are different. Let them mother freaking be, bro. At the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get the, I don't get that mentality of like, you know, what I say goes and blah, 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 because I'm right and you're wrong. No, bro. Like not everything, not everything that feels right is always right. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure when, uh, you know, and it's hard, it's bad, it is, it's hard, it's hard to hear it, but like, I'm pretty sure People who were like, yeah, like, I'm pretty sure, like, back in the days when they had slaves, they thought that that was cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they thought it was right. And they were wrong the whole entire time. The whole entire time. So, yeah, we got to break from that, man. We got to break from that. We got to break that generational curse of, like, thinking, oh, it's okay to rule people's lives, bro. <laughs> like, nah. If, if you're not my parent, I don't want to hear nothing from you, bro. Like, if you didn't, if I didn't come out of your ball sack, <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing, bro. Not a damn thing. <laughs> I don't even want to hear it now. You know, I don't even want to hear it now. My mama, my mama, like, she thinks she right. And she wrong 100% of the time. You know, 100% of the time she wrong. Like, she, she's mad at me because she's, she's mad at me because I gave my grandmother the roses that she deserved was the fact that she raised me. 
She's mad about that. Sis, how are you going to be mad at that? You had me at 14 years old. You left me with my grandmother till I was 11. You have no, you have no roses for raising me. Being the woman that I am today. None of that. None. Like, <laughs> you fumbled the bag with me, sis. Come on, like, get out of here. Get out of here. You get no roses. You get, she gets no roses, bro. No roses. I'm sorry. The only roses you get, like she got, was the fact that like I wanted to break that cycle of like, I, I didn't want to be somebody who, who did drugs. I didn't want to have, I didn't want to have different relationships with different people. I didn't, I wanted like, I wanted something stable that I felt was stable for me. Like, I was like, if I'm going to be with somebody, I want to be with one person for the rest of my life, and that's it, bro. I don't care what it is. So I had to find somebody in that mindset. Yes, it was hard. Yes, I went through uh, a heartbreak for it. But, like, tell you the truth, it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot. It, it taught me how to live, love, and learn, bro, at that point, right? Like, not everybody's for you type stuff. So, like, you know, but... Yeah, man, you get no roses, sis. You get no roses. The only roses you get, for real, is when you was beating my behind for no reason and taught me how to survive. I'm a survivor, bro. That's the only thing you taught me in my life, bro, is how to survive. Afro. I came out the womb. She was there, and my grandmother was in the pictures ever since then. So I will say I was maybe like three months. I was three months years old. <laughs> three months old. Three months old, out the womb, fresh out the womb. And all my pictures is my grandmother taking care of me, bro, from baby. I mean like a baby. I mean like doodle in the diaper, baby, all the way. Yeah, and that's nothing. That's nothing. She doesn't get no roses from my other sister, too, because it's... So it's me, then it's Tay, then it's Kasha, Michael McCow. So me and Tay? Basically, at that point, basically. But with Tay, when Tay was... um, Yeah. When Tay was six six months... She left Tay because I was in the I was in the household with my grandmother. I remember this clear as day. My grandmother, we, me and my grandmother was chilling. My mom came by, swung by with Tay. Six months years old in one of those like, in one of those carry-ons, right? And my mom was like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to leave and I'll be back. She left, never came back, bro. Never came back. Five years later. I'm lying to you. Six years later. She comes back talking about some, oh, yeah, you guys are going to live with me now. Yes. Yes. And she swears up and down she deserves her roses. She swears up and down she deserves her roses. She dipped on us, bro. She dipped on us. I used to visit her. Like, I used to visit her. And my sister's, uh, my sister's dad. No, no, nah, man. Like she was, she was with my sister's dad and he got deported. And ever since he got deported, she was like, and she went to Dominican Republic with some dude, some other dude she, she was messing with. And, uh, never came back, bro. Five years later, six years later, bro. Never came back. Never came back. And then she had, like, this, like, mini animosity for my sister that was crazy. And we was like, yo, what's wrong with you? And I think it was because her dad, like, because her dad never came back after that. So I think, like, she was just salty. Yo, honestly, bro. It just don't make no sense to me, bro. It make no sense to me. It's the whole situation. If you're not with the baby daddy, 
if you're not with the baby daddy, if you're not with this baby daddy, if you're not with your baby daddy, bro, you got to move on, sis. You got to move on and focus on your kids, bro, because your kids is, your kids is going to be there till they hit whatever age they're going to hit and dip on you. And I told my mom, I was like, I'm leaving, bro. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. At 18, I packed it up and I left. At 18, I packed it up and I left. I went to New Hampshire for like a year. When I came back, y'all, I did not go straight back to my mama's house. I went to my grandmother's house. And my grandmother was ecstatic. And I think the wrong move that I did was not stay with my grandmother. Like, I should have stood with her because I felt like I could have did so much more for her. But the reason why I went back was because my brothers and my sisters wanted me back home. So I was like, all right, bet. I'm going to come back home. Man, I tell you no lie, the wrongest decision I made because like my mother will get on my nerves for no reason. Mind you, at that at that time and place, I was 19 years old, and I was like, bro, I'm tired of this woman, bro. Right? I was like, bro, I'm tired of this woman. But it was always it, she she chose my mother chose herself over her kids. She chose her selfish behaviors over her kids, like. She didn't care if she, she only cared that we was good when the state and stuff like that was looking at us. Like when people were questioning things, wondering why things, that's when she wanted to be play mother of the year, you know, but she chose herself over us, bro. And it's okay. Like, I feel like parents can live their lives. You can still live your life, but I'm, I'm just saying like your kid deserves your attention, bro. Hands down, your kid deserves their uh, your attention, your love, because that's what <laughs> you created them. You know what I'm saying? They still have things to learn. They still have time with you. Take that time and do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, at 18, they decide to leave. You live your life and do whatever else you want to do. But my mom used to bring random people at the house, bro. Like, one time she brought her, her friends over the house. And mind you, it was her friend and her lover. And both these girls were sleeping in the, um, in the living room. Mind you, the bedroom was... Our bedroom was connected to the living room, right? So, I'm, I'm 19, y'all. I'm 19. I'm doing me. I'm, you know, I finished getting off the phone with Justin. Because, like, at that, at that point, we was talking, you know. So, boom. I get off the phone with Justin or whatever because it's late. And I'm like, you know, the kids are sleeping because all, all of them was in my bedroom. Yo. Yeah. You got to sacrifice something. Like, my mom had five kids. She had, her, she, at that point, having that many kids... Your attention should not even be on yourself at that point. You should be trying to raise your damn kids. You feel me? You should be raising your damn kids. It should have never been. It should have never been an if and but a what about the situation. But yeah, so boom, I I walk out the I walk out right. I walk out to go use the bathroom. Mind you, my brothers were sleeping in my bed because my brothers like. They thought I was their mother at that point. Because, like, they were, like, connected to me at the hip. You could ask my sister, Tay, if she's ever streaming, like, how they were on top of me. They, they were connected to my hip, bro. So, they were sleeping. My sisters were sleeping in their bunk beds. And I, I got up to go use the bathroom. I opened the door. These chicks is having sex in the freaking, uh, in, in the living room. And I was like, hey, yo. Go to your house with that mess. So I woke up my mother. I'm like, bro, you you got these chicks over here doing blah -zy blah Yes. You know what I'm saying? Scissoring right in front of the freaking... Yes. Yes, chicks, bro. Out here having sex in the freaking living room where I got to come out. I was like, had that been my brothers or my sisters, bro? That's not cool. That's not cool. Nobody want to see your nakedness. I didn't even want to see their nakedness. Nah, I don't know. That's a good question, I feel, because I really don't know. But she did have gay friends, because, you know, like, we never was, we was never the type of people to, like, not accept people. So, like, she had gay friends, and, like, man, she had this really cool, yeah, she had this really cool, um, 
this person who transitioned and oh my god such a sweetheart she was such a sweetheart bro <laughs> but yeah but, 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 we're going back yeah so you know we she was she was the type of person that she, we she had her her friends stay over and mind you they both were lovers they were both lovers you know what i'm saying like they came over they were both lovers she was like yeah you can sleep over the house so when i told her what happened i was like they gotta pack it up and go we nobody want to see all that it was bad enough we were seeing my mother naked 24 7 because she would like run out she was she was crazy like <laughs> My mom, she she would get mad at my, my stepdad and she'd be like, you could kiss my butthole and stuff like that and like literally legit open her butt in front of everybody. Like she was that type of person, bro. <laughs> like she was that type of person, bro. So we was tired of the nakedness. We was like, bro, I know that we we are open people, but I'm tired. We're tired, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, we was tired, bro. At that point, we was tired, Afro. We was sick and tired of it. So when I saw that, I was like, bro, no. Y'all can't be doing that. Y'all can't be doing that. Not in this house. Not with these kids. You feel me? Bro. Bro. Whew. That, that book must have been real good, bro. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, that book must have been rolling on. Because, my God. But, yeah, we, we I dealt with a lot of stuff. But she don't get no roses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe it, bro. I believe it. Because a lot of those children actors, the, a lot of those children actors, they be going through it, bro. Dude, I didn't even read the book. I didn't read the book, so I don't. I couldn't even talk about it, bro. You just got me messed up. What you want from me? What you want from me? Oh <laughs> no, we're not talking about that. No, Afro, we're not doing it. Yeah, but that that's every kid though. That's every kid. Because the thing about it is think think about it. Right. That's true. But like hear me out though. Think about it. As as a person, as a child, right? As a child, all you want is your parents' love, right? You you know, they want they want your love. They want your love, they want your attention, they want all that, right? Because you're their parent. They're, you are their God. When a child comes out of the womb, you're their God. You feed them. You clothe them. You give them love. You're their first God. You hear me? So they they gonna love and accept you and think that these things are okay. When it's not okay, bro. It's never been okay. You know what I'm saying? And people don't, re they don't realize that, bro. They do not realize that. That's why I hate and loathe parents that don't give a damn about their kids. Because it's like... Exactly. Because you're like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Because things start clicking at, at, at a teenage level. Things start clicking. Because the thing is, you start seeing the outside world. And you start seeing how your friend's parents are. Especially if your, fan, your friend's parents is like the norm, the what should be. The what should be that you think that you should have been receiving, that's when all that goes down. You feel me? Yeah. It's shaking, bro. And again, that's the whole God complex. Listen, I'm telling you, that that's the whole God complex of this situation because your parents are your God the moment you are born, bro. The moment you are born. And this is what my mother fail to realize because i was like you get no roses why you don't get no roses is because you left me at a very vulnerable age with somebody who was giving me what i needed they were giving me stability they were clothing me they were feeding me they were giving me the love that they was giving me but then when they put me in your hands you ruined that you destroyed that you beat you dismissed you did so much stuff that it was not even, 
it was just like I knew what heaven felt like. You feel me? To be stuck in hell every single day. So I was like, I can't. I can't deal with this. And then my thing about it is my grandmother was like, never disrespect your mother because she's your mother. And I hated that analogy. I hated it with a passion because I, I used to tell her, but she's not. You are, and she'd be like, I understand what you're coming from, Amita, but that's not it, you know? And I was like, I don't give a damn if she birthed me. It's the whole situation of who did the work after? Who did the work after? Like, the whole situation with adoption, this is why, like, people like to adopt at a younger age because they get that, uh, they get that bond with that child, right? Because the, the, the child's like, okay, yes, you know, yes, I was birthed by this person, and thank you for allowing, thank you for telling me that I was adopted, but you're my parent type stuff because you the one who raised me. That's what happened, bro. That's what happened. You see, this is bad because the more I talk about this, the more that I, I, I like think of like the characters that I create in D&D &D and how much they like relate to me is ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous, bro. That's the thing. And that's the thing that, like, I think that's that's where my mom kind of, like, failed that. Because, like, it was the whole situation of, like, once you disobeyed her, it was always, I should have never had you. I should have went through with the abortion type stuff. And it's like, sis, why did you even have me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I of course, of course, I care about my life. Of course, I care about my life. I'm I'm thankful for being on this earth and be able to meet the people that I meet, right? But it's like, sis, you didn't have to go through with it. Because earth is ghetto. It stinks, all right? I, this whole situation of being an adult sucks, all right? The whole paying the bills and, you know, being miserable. Come on, bro. Come on. Like... <laughs> This is, it's, it stinks over here. It smells bad, right? <laughs> you know, like, but again, I care, I care about my life. I'm thankful for being here. It's, it's, it's none of that. But you know what I'm saying? It's just the whole situation of like, come on now. Thank you so much, Kima. I'm going to say it right now. And we're not getting this thing done. Oh, it's a lunch break already? Oh, damn, Kiki. Damn, I might have to have a burrito or something. But yeah, it was it was always something. It was always something with my mother, bro. And then the whole situation of, like, lying to me about my whole dad situation. Like, sis, you should have just said, listen, listen, Bess. I was a young age. When I had you, I don't know your dad. But no, she painted this whole facade of this man that was madly in love with her, that was going to take care of me, her, and any other kids that she had. It was like, it was disgusting. It was disgusting. At the point where, like, I became numb to the idea of, like, when she was like, oh, I wish your dad was here because, you know, you wouldn't be acting the way that you would be acting. Like, sis, even if he was here... Like, let's say if he was here, he'll be just as a deadbeat as you is. Because, the it, like, come on. Come on. Like, let's just be for real. Where he at? He ain't here, right? He ain't here. I'm coming back for you. Yeah, but she don't deserve no roses. She deserves none. I know I gotta go eat, Kiki, but I don't know what I want to eat. <sighs> I don't know what I want to eat. You know, I know that a lot of kids go through stuff like this, though. And this is why I talk about it, because, like, people believe that, like, they don't have a way out. And you do. You do. Like, you, 
And I know it's hard to move out. I know it's hard to move out and stuff like that. Like, I know that that is an issue. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? But, boo, you can move out. And it'll get 100 times better. Because there's, no, there's no greater feeling than having your own. There's no greater feeling than walking into your own crib and having a peace of mind. Because your home should be your peace. And if your home ain't your peace, it ain't a home. You feel me? Like, at the end of the day. At the end of the day. If your home ain't your peace, it ain't a home, bro. That's, like, I couldn't imagine, like... I could imagine it because it happened every single time. I used to I used to spend days in school. Like, listen, I went to college, right? I went to college to shut my mother up because she just wanted me to go to college so damn bad. And so I'll go to college at 6 o'clock in the morning and don't come back home till like 1. And all I'm doing is eating, sleeping, and leaving. That was my daily schedule Monday through Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I was with my grandmother. <laughs> And then it came to a point where my mother was asking me for money every five minutes. And I was like, bro, I got school. I got to like, it ain't cheap to get on the MTA and the WRTA every single time. And I was like, sis, I don't got no money to be transporting like this. Giving it to you and going to school and paying for my books. I don't got money like that. So I ended up living with my grandmother for the, the couple of months that I was living with her. I was like, I'm gone. And it was a good thing that I did because my grandmother would have, I think my grandmother honestly would have died if I didn't, if I did not show up in that house. I, I promise y'all, y'all. I promise y'all. I think my grandmother would have, God forbid, I think she would have died because like she, my, my grand, my, my uncle took her money and her food stamps and my grandmother was in the bed and she was sick when I showed up at that house. She was in the bed sick like a dog. And, um, no food in the house, no nothing. And I, I walked in the house cause I had the key. I was like, yo, where's my grandmother, bro? In the bed, sleeping with a flu. And I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm not feeling so good. I was like, okay, you want me to make you something? Yeah. Like you can, you make me some coffee. And I was like, all right, bet. I go into the mother freaking, uh, yo, honestly, honestly, like see for real. Listen, I love you too, boo. Listen, it wasn't easy. It was not easy. I'll tell you that much. It was not easy. But I, I did I did persevere. I, I, perse I persevered and I can thank my, my brothers and my sisters for that. Because I didn't want them to go through that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't want them to go through what I went through. So I was like, if I make it, they will make it. And that was, that was the God honest truth. Because <laughs> my sister can tell you today, your, my sister can tell you today, she got her first job when she was with me. She finished her high school diploma because she was with me. All right? Because she was with me. All right? My brothers and my sisters, they were able to go with their dad because they were with me, bro. Like, because I was like, what they wasn't going, what they was not going to do was they was not going to suffer the way I was going to suffer. And that was on my, that was on my life, bro. hundred percent. And I'm glad my husband was in accordance with me on that. Cause as soon as I was like, yo, I need to get my sisters and my brothers. He says, say less. Right. That's what I, that, yup. Exactly that. Exactly that. Cause my husband was like, yup. Right. He was helping me heavy, heavy, all right? Heavy, y'all. Heavy. But yeah, yo, my grandmother, She, I think she would have passed away earlier if I didn't show up. And then I opened the fridge. There was nothing in the fridge, y'all. I went to go make some cafe bucello. Had no butter, had no nothing, had no milk, no nothing. Not even spam in the cabinet. And I'm like, uh, Grandma, where's your food? Oh, I don't have none. I gave I gave your uncle the cards and he said he was going to pay stuff and he never came back. And I promise y'all not. I went to my uncle. I was like, hand over the damn cards like right now. But I, I went I went like three hundred dollars worth of food shopping that day. And I was like, I'm staying with you. 
and I nursed that woman back to health. The next, I would say the next week, I will come home from school and she was cooking. And I'm like, what are you doing up? It's one o'clock in the morning. And she's like, oh, I knew you was coming back from school. I wanted to make you something so that you could have something to eat at least. So I started coming home earlier. <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, so I started coming home around like 10 o'clock, you know, nine o'clock because my, my classes will end. And instead of like, spending time with my friends, like I usually do. I was like, yo, I'm going to go spend time with my grandmother because she's like, she's going to be cooking. So I will, I will like, I will go to lunch, stay with her, then go back to my school. Because my, my school was in Canal Street and she lived in, uh, she lived in the LES. So like, it was a walk, but I was making that walk, bro. I was making that walk every single time. So I will walk to her, then walk back, then walk to her, then walk back. And then, um... Yeah, it was pretty decent. It was pretty decent to, like, just chill with her and see her get up. And then, like, you know, color coming back to her skin and stuff like that. But, yeah, my freaking, my mother and my my uncle, they're dogs, bro. They're dogs. And, like, to this day, he'd be like, oh, why you don't talk to, I don't talk to you, bro. I don't talk to you because you did my grandmother dirty. You did my grandmother dirty, bro. I don't care how bad of a mother she was, man. Cause the thing about it is, it wasn't, it wasn't a, it wasn't the fact of like, she was a. Of let's say she was a bad parent. It was what she did after that counted. The fact that she gave money to them, the fact that she cared about them, the fact that when he was in jail, she put money on his books, made sure he had clean socks, clean underwears, clean everything. The fact that, like, when my mother lost her home, we were living with my grandmother. And she was taking care of us. And she was paying for our school supplies. And she was doing everything that she can for my mother so that my mother didn't have to struggle. That's what what counted. That's what made up. And the fact that she apologized and was like, listen, I know I was bad, but I apologize if I hurt you. The fact that she was woman enough to apologize to my mother and my uncle and they still treated her like a dog... That's where I, I'm like, y'all some scumbags. And y'all can rot in the, the dirtiest part of hell. Because, like, honestly, there is no way, no way, bro, that you can treat somebody like that and think that it was all, it's all good in the hood, bro. There's no way. She did not deserve that at all. And then my grandfather, too. Because they did my grandfather dirty. And this man did nothing but take care of them. Like, you will see pictures of him working hard. And him taking care of them. Feeding them. Doing X, Y, and Z. And sure, sure, he was, a, let's say if he was a horrible man. The fact that he made up after. The fact that he apologized for being a scummy dad. And that was like, I will take care of you guys. In the end, that's all that mattered to me, bro. The fact that he did that. Bro. Let me, like, merge this all. And then what we're going to do is, I'm just going to dump it on her. Yeah, dude. Dude, it's, it's like, ugh. This is, this is why I wanted to break the cycle. I wanted to break the cycle of my family, which is not to be a snake in the fuck, the freaking garden. <laughs> Y'all almost got me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how upset I am about it. Um, but yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Being a snake in the garden, bro. Being a snake in the garden. Just being a leech. Being a plague to humanity. That's why I don't like t people like that. And if you wonder if I hate you, I do. <laughs> Bro. Okay, okay, okay. And if you wonder if I hate you. But yeah. It, it's all it's all about survival, y'all. I am I am my best in survival mode. And it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> Yo, for real, like my husband, that, that's why I get, my husband gets flowers every single day. Every single day, my husband gets flowers, bro. I don't care. My husband gets his flowers every single day. 
Because it's like, I would have never been, I would have never been working art full time if it wasn't for him to be like, you know what? Drop everything. Do what you do. I'll go ahead and I'll start. I'll work a job I hate just so that you can do what you want to do. Right? The fact that he was in accordance with me, with my family. Exactly, Cameron. He was in accordance with me. He helped me get my brothers and my sisters. He helped me take care of them. And he helped me with all the court cases was there the whole entire time and helping me like come up with ideas to help them. Hands down. All right? Hands down. And yeah, y'all hear, you guys will hear me bicker and mess with Justin all day. We will roast each other. We sound like we're arguing and stuff like that. But tell you the truth, that's our love language. We just, we be blah, 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 blah to each other. But we will never go to sleep angry with each other. It will never, and Justin has never slept on the couch. The only time he slept on the couch was when his back hurt and he had no choice but to sleep on the couch because his back needed to be angled a certain type of way. Or like when he wasn't breathing, when he had sarcoidosis and he had to sleep on the couch so that his lungs can open up. But this man had never, never was in the doghouse, never had any, yes, yes. He's a good guy for real, for real. And my mother hates that. My mother hates that, bro. You don't understand. My mother hates Justin. She hates him, bro. Hates his guts, bro. I promise y'all. She hates this man, bro. And he don't care. He don't care. He's like, hate me, sis. We ain't speaking in the same game. Bro, I'm not going to be done with this. Bro, I got lunch. Hold up. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some. I'm going to go get some. I'm going to go get some something to snack on. I'll be right back. Give me one second, y'all. I'm just going to get something to snack on because I'm not hungry. So, like, it don't make no sense. Right, I'm gonna have some applesauce with some peanuts. Because Justin was like, You can't just have peanuts to eat, Dust. And I was like, Why? And he was like, Because I said so. And I'm like, Okay, Dad. Damn. But these be, these be slapped. Because look it. They got some like pomegranate in it. You know what I'm saying? Apples and stuff. Like, come on now. This is a whole fruit buffet right here. And he's like, you can't have that. I'm like, excuse me? Hello? But, um, applesauce. I know I should eat something big, but I'm not hungry. That's the only thing. Being on a schedule just doesn't make you hungry. You just be like, uh, eating is a chore. And we only do it for, tell you the truth, sure, you can eat for pleasure. But for me, with my health condition and, like, me eating on a schedule, I'm eating to live. Like, I'm eating to give my body fuel, right? So, like, eating on a schedule is for the birds. This is actually really good. <laughs> It's for the birds, bro. Oh, my God. And it goes with the nuts. So nice. That's what she said. <laughs> mm -mm -mm, Y'all. 
I just want to put some, I want to put some in here. Let me see what this tastes like. Hold up. Oh, wow. That gives it a nice, like, it's like applesauce crunch. Mm. Mm. And you get, listen, you get protein. That's what she said. Okay, out here, level five. You just like to farm a muckle with your perfect peach. Now I'm in the basement, planning motivation. Hey. I'm so mature. Mm-mm-mm. I did it all, no good. I did all of this so bad. I did it all for love. Hold up. Cause this kind of comes down like that. Or whatever. I just killed my ex. Now I just got you. What you eating today, Kiki? What you having today? Somebody text me? Yo, my mother-in-law would be bugging, bro. My mother-in-law be bugging. Like, she want to do a collaborative birthday, uh, Christmas gift for my aunties, right? But she picked the most cornballed thing ever. It was like this snowman that's like almost 3D, where like if you look at it in different angles, it could like, you know, it could... You know, it, it looks cool. Ooh, that sounds good. But I'm like, sis. A snowman? Like, you couldn't choose something else? You know what I'm saying? Like, you couldn't get them, like, a group? Or, like, a dragon or something? Like that? <laughs> I was like, we got something for them. Because you tried for them for that. Not the breath again. I forget out. <laughs> Get out, Afro. It was like, bro, <laughs> that breath. <laughs> Thank you, Kuman. That breath gonna smell like doo doo butter. <laughs> that breath about to be like. <laughs> I should have cheated. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> that breath gonna be like, <laughs> your roses really smell like boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Yo, this sugar free, no sugar. I had this one I had this one teacher with coffee breath and y'all know I love me some coffee but it wasn't smelling like coffee it was like it was like one of those coffees that like it's like onion breath it's like having onion breath like you know it's coffee but it's not coffee bro it's like stomach co gases from coffee
Damn, bro. That's wild, bro. I'm gonna put this right hole. Yep. I'm gonna take a couple of more of these and I'm, I'm gonna call it a day. ASAP. ASAP, bro. I'll be gone. I'll be like, disappearing. <laughs> nah, bro. I've been gone. I've been drinking more alcohol, 40 past five days. Did you check on me? Or did you look for me? Hey, I'm and I don't smoke banga. <laughs> this is my song. Y'all, honestly. You see, but like when I was a kid, that that gave like, that gave other kids advantages to like, like the, the teacher would be breathed over, right? And then it'd be like, yeah, <laughs> it's a joke all the time. <laughs> so like if you was, listen, if you was like me, I used to sit by the window or by the, uh, by the wall, right? I used to, I, I would never sat in the middle of the classroom, never sat in the middle of the classroom. I always sat by the window or the, or next to like the doors, right? Like, so it'd be like on the wall where the doors would be at because as soon as the bell hit, I needed a dip. You know what I mean? So, yo, I would be sitting there like doing my work and like, they, you know, teacher bend over just to like, you know, help the person and you'll see like one of the kids like... <laughs> No! And you know, we'd be laughing over that and they'd be like, oh, what are you laughing at? What are you guys looking at? You're laughing at. You're going to end up in detention. You know how many times I ended up in detention because my friends is stupid? <laughs> Listen, I ended up in, I ended up in summer school. I'm an A++ student, bro. My teacher was mad that I was an A++ student because I will only show up, I will say, 75% of the school year, Right? And I would like kill it. I mean, kill it, bro. Because when I was at home, I would study, right? So I would come home and kill. I would go to school and kill it every single time. But he ended up putting me in summer school because I missed so many days, right? So I was stuck in summer school with my stupid friends because they decided, oh, we want to be, we, <laughs> we don't want to pass classes, right? Mind you, mind you. My my friends were hilarious. Like they would mess with this teacher all the time. I mean, to the point where we was making noises. We would we would be like making fart noises. You know, mans would come by, and my friend had this like she had this sound where she could make it sound like, uh, you know, you know when you have a big hard dookie and it hits the water, it goes, boop, you know what I'm saying? She had that sound on par, right? So she will, she will do that sound every five minutes and he'll be like, who said that? Who said that? Like, he'll be so mad. <laughs> he was pissed off. And then when we found out, what, what was it that we found out? We found out homeboy, uh, <laughs> we found out about homeboy lover and like, we was just like going off. He put us all in summer school. So all of us was in there, bro. I, I kid you not, with jean skirts because it was so damn hot. We was dying. <laughs> so I ended up in summer school, bro, doing nothing. Like, I was coloring every day because, like, I didn't, I did not, I was all attendance-based. I was going there for attendance. I wasn't even going there to go there for freaking schoolwork. So we was like, yo, we hope we get Mr. Hoven, bro, so we could just, like, mess with this cat because he used to show up at my house every day, bro. I mean, like, every day. 
of Volsha, so V O Z S H A. Bro, we used to mess them all the time. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you taking notes right now? Listen, we used to mess with them. Yes. You remember back in the days on jean skirts that had the, like the split on the sides and stuff like that so that, you know, you could sit nice, be nice and cool? We used to wear, like, I used to wear jean skirts because my mom wanted me to dress up like a girl and I didn't want to. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> um, yeah, we used to, uh, we used to wear jeans. I used to wear jean skirts because I, okay, I was a tomboy back then. I was so much, I was so much a tomboy that my, the whole community that knew my grandmother and knew my mother, they thought I was going to be a lesbian. Like, that's how bad it was. <laughs> I was climbing trees. I was getting hurt. I was riding bikes. My knees are toe up. They are toe up. So I, as, as a, you know, yes, <laughs> yes, it is crazy. I used to climb trees. I have so much scars on my body, it's ridiculous. You know, it's it's ridiculous how many scars I have on my body. Like, you know, the, the now the now today women, you know, that are growing up, you know, it's cell phone princesses, you know what I'm saying? So like their bodies are like perfect. <laughs> Not a blemish, you feel me? <laughs> but your girl, your girl got like I got I got a cut on my leg. I got I got so much stuff going on. So they, I used to wear, I used to wear basketball shorts. I used to wear sweatpants. I used to wear the baggiest jeans you could think of. And that's because my body was fully developed at 14. Like 14, I was a B cup in bras. Let that sink. I was like, like when my mom made me wear like tight pants and stuff like that, I used to get cat called down the damn street. And I was 14 years old. That was not okay for me. So I was like, uh, no, we're going to wear baggy jeans. So I used to wear baggy jeans and a baggy shirt. Like, you know, I used to, I used to keep it baggy. And I, and I love the fact that I could like be free. You feel me? Like I could wear a sports bra and like legit play basketball and be free. You know what I'm saying? So like, that was my thing. And, um, my mom, she was like, no, you need to dress up like a girl. You need to be presentable and all this stuff. So she used to buy me like these cute clothing but I look like a grown woman with these cute girls. Like, <laughs> like she bought me this, she bought me this jean skirt with a crop top, right? But the crop top was like, it was covering the front. And in the back, it was like crisscross. Yes, right? Right? So like the back had like these little straps on the back. I kid you not, on my 14th birthday, I wore it, right? Because my mom was like, oh, we're going out for your birthday, stuff like that. So my hair was done. I had the little... I had the little shirt and stuff like that. And I kid you not, all my boys from the basketball court, like, they had their little girls that they were talking to, right, like, back then, because, you know, you you had crushes or whatever. So I showed up at the basketball court because I was like, y'all, I can't play with y'all with basketball tonight because I got to go out with my family, whatever, because today's my birthday, whatever. They're like, oh, it's your birthday. But when they saw what I was dressed, when they saw when I was dressed, forget it. <laughs> forget it. It was just like... I didn't know that side of them <laughs> till that day. And I was like, oh, no, <laughs> no, I can't do this no more. You know what I'm saying? So I, I used to dress up when my mom told me to dress up. Like when she was like, you got to wear a skirt. You got to do this. You got to do that. You know, you got to be fem. You got to femininity. You feel me? And like, I, I wasn't down with it, bro. Like, I wanted to climb trees and break bones and roll a blade. I wanted to do so many things that, like, I was a skater girl, bro. Like, I was not, <laughs> I was not trying to live that life of, like, painting your nails and getting your hair done and stuff, you know? So, they, wa they were looking at everything. Like, my chest, my butt, everything. Like, when I went to... I kid you not, I was 14 years old, 
<laughs> again with this 14 years old. I was working my own job. So I have my, my clothing for like my last bathing suit that I had with my grandmother at my grandmother's house did not fit me. Like my boobs were like at my chest and I couldn't breathe. And she was like, mamita, you're gonna have to go to the store and you gotta buy yourself a bathing suit. And I was like, but every bathing suit that I, I have to get wouldn't be kid size. It would be like a grown adult and it would be a bikini. And she's like, well, you go, you don't have a choice. You grew up, you growing up with my type of body. Cause my grandmother had double D's and she was, she was banging. Yo, she was a model. Like, you know those, you know, when you look at women with like the Instagram models, she looked like that BB, BBL looking women. That's how she had the thighs, the hips, everything. And I was growing up with that same body type. So, like, I had the tight waist, big chest, big hips, like, at 14. So, I was, like, stressing out. Yes. She did. She really did. So, boom. I ended up going to the store and getting that. And then I went to the pool and I had asked them, can I wear a shirt over this? And they're like, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, can I wear a dark shirt over this? And they were like, nah. So I was like, damn it. What am I going to do? So I went to my grandpa. I was like, grandpa, like, I, I can't wear this type of outfit in the pool. I'm not going to be comfortable because, you know, I know what I look like. I know what I look like, bro. I'm conscious of it. So he was like, all right, mommy, I take one of my, like, my little white beaters. Bro, I took his white beater, went in the pool when I came out of that pool. When I came out of that pool, the looks that I got from my friends that were boys, mind you, dunking the girls to touch on them. And when I went back in, because I had to get out the water. Yes, bro. Yes. So I went and I, I helped my little brother, my little sister, because I, I was taking care of my little sister, Tay. I will make, you know, like my grandmother will sneak sandwiches underneath the pool thing so that we could like eat. So I will, I will get her to eat and stuff like that before we go back in the pool. And I will sit there and I will wait with her. So I had to get out the pool. The looks that I got was crazy. So, <laughs> bro, so boom, like, dude, dude, you don't know how many times I will, I will go to the pool and I'll be like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't, don't dunk me. Don't think about dunking me. Don't even think about being around me because <laughs> I will punch you in your face. I, I had to kick people off of me. I kicked this boy in his nuts before. Like, it was bad. It was like. I don't know what's, what's with the preteen boys, but they were crazy. Like, <laughs> they were crazy, bro. Like, I only, the thing is, I knew them because I was in the basketball court. Bro. Dude. I was like, no. Are you up? I had this one boy who was trying his hardest to dunk me. His hardest to dunk me. And I was like, no. And then, like, my first ever boyfriend, I don't even consider him a boyfriend <laughs> because it was stupid. But, dude, you don't understand how much this boy begged me to be his girlfriend. Like, it felt obligating. Okay, so, like, usually what, okay, to get dunked is, like, they pick you up out of the water. Like, they pick you up out of the water and they, like, they dunk you over. Like, they... They, they throw you over so you, like, fall into the water, like, almost like a dolphin, kind of. So, like, they'll throw you high or whatever. But the thing about it is when they did that, they'll grab body parts. They grab your titties. They grab your booty. You know what I'm saying? One girl got grabbed by the pee-pee. You know what I'm saying? He grabbed her by the... <laughs> he grabbed... This guy grabbed... This boy grabbed the girl right at her, her thing and just threw her over, like... Yes, they was grabbing up on them. And you know, the girls, like, the girly girls, the ones that wanted these boys' attention, of course they let them do it. But, like, the boys will do it to everybody who they will want to touch on. You feel me? So I used to be like, yo. And the only reason why I knew what they were doing, yes! Dude, it was harassment, bro. It was harassment at its finest. So with that situation, I used to be like, I already heard the talks on the basketball court. All right, I already heard. I heard the talks on the basketball court. I knew who was the dirt. I knew who was the the girl that did all the dudes. I knew the girl that was like 
trying to get with some of the dudes. I knew the girl that was going to get played the next day. Like, I knew a lot of things because I was on the basketball court with them all the time, bro, playing basketball. So I knew things I should have never knew. <laughs> and I was like, y'all better not touch me. That was, that was hands down. You better not touch me. Don't do it. I used to fight boys. <laughs> I used to fight them, bro. Like, don't touch me, bro. And they'd be like, oh, but come on. But no, 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 no. <laughs> no, baby. I don't want to be touched, bro. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> they were like, I thought you was, I thought you was one of the boys. I don't want to hear none of that. I know you're trying to touch me. I don't want to hear none of it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Listen. But yeah, I got begged. I got begged to be somebody's girlfriend. Like, he had his little brother. His little brother was my sister's age. Yeah. My little sister's age. And he was like, my my little brother, my boy, my brother wants to be your boyfriend. I was like, bro, I'm not into boys. <laughs> I don't want to be nobody's boyfriend. I'm trying to, like, get on this slide and, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're taught, yeah, they taught you right. They taught you right, bro. You see, we grew up, we grew up in New York, you know, <clears throat> Them cats is they they not respectful. <laughs> Them cats is not res they're not respectful, bro. They're not respectful. I'll I'll keep it a buck with y'all. Like what? Mm -mm -mm. I was the Lulu though. That's nothing, Afro. When I hit, when I hit 17, yeah, when I hit 17, um, I went to prom. Now, mind you, I went to prom because my, my, my friends, they were all, the, some of them were girls. They were like, yo, you should come to prom with me. We could be dates. I'm like, awesome. I'm down for it. I am down for it. Some of them came with their boyfriends. Some of them didn't, right? And then I was I was friends with the boys too. So like, you know, my friends Kareem and stuff like that. Like all of them, they were mad dope. You know what I'm saying? I used to draw with them, play basketball with them, play football with them. Like, I knew I knew a majority of the boys. This is the reason why the girls wanted to be my friend is because I knew the boys and the boys that they liked. So like I was able to play matchmaker. Cause I was in the middle. You know, I was in the middle of all that, right? So I went to prom. I went to prom, right? My mother decided, oh, let me buy you a dress. I'm like, okay, ma. She bought me this black and pink dress. Mind you, I look like, you know, I was a little, I was a little bit more skinnier than this. <laughs> I was like, a, I was like 170 pounds. But yes, I was that, I was that girl. I was that girl. Um, so again, big chest, big hips, tiny waist, all that, right? So she finds this perfect dress that fit me beautifully. And my grandmother paid for it because uh, we went to, like, this Indian spot that, like, they, they kind of, like, sculpt your body out really nicely with the, the dress. Why did, why did I accept this? I don't know why. But I did it. They bought me the crown. They bought me, like, the jewelry and everything. My mother put a little bit of makeup on me. And she's like, okay, mamita, go ahead. Enjoy. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So I show up. I show up to prom with my friends. They have beautiful dresses. They're like, oh, my God. I didn't know you cleaned up like this. I didn't even know you look like that underneath clothing, right? Because, like, I used to wear baggy clothes all the time. So they didn't know that I looked the way that I looked, like, shape-wise, right? I tell you not, y'all. I, 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 I crap you not. Photographers was behind my butt. Mother freaking, my boys was by, like, all, all the dudes that I I was cool with, they were like, bro, I didn't know you clean up like this. You look mad good. They had their girlfriends right next to them talking about some mess. And I'm like, dude, mind your business. Don't get, nope. <laughs> so I called my mother. I called my mother. She didn't pick up the phone. I called my stepdad. I was like, y'all need to get me out this. Y'all need to get me out this prom thing because there's too many people. People want to dance with me and stuff like that. Yes. Yes, y'all. Yes, Afro. Afro.
Yes. I was the token at that point. <laughs> yeah, okay. But not when you're trying to get. <laughs> but hear me out. <laughs> and nine binary hotties. <laughs> but hear me out, though. Hear me out, Lexi. You're not trying to get with them, though. Like, if you were trying to get with them, that's a different story. Yeah, you you was not trying to get with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all over that. All over that. Like, it was, it was bad. It was bad. Like, I had all, all my dudes that I used to, like, play ball with that, with them and everything. The next day when I was, like, going to school, they were, like, asking for my number, asking me if they wanted to take me out to the, to the bodega to get something to eat. They were buying me things. I was like, bro, like, what is going on? They're like, oh, we didn't know you cleaned up like that. Like, what the freak are you talking about? You don't know I clean. And then, like, even even now, like, everybody sees me the way that I, I am, right? I'm dressed like this. But if I wear formal wear, I always get compliments. It's always, oh, you're so beautiful. You, oh, my goodness. You wear that dress really nicely. What weight you say you was? Nah, you can't be that weight. You know, like, it's, it's always that. And that's because they don't, like, they don't see me dressed like that 24-7. So, like, when they see it, they're like, what the freak? You know what I'm saying? But, like, again, it was bad. I was calling my stepdad. I was like, yo, nobody was picking up the phone. Nobody was picking up the phone. So I called my step uncle. I'm like, please, can you tell somebody to come pick me up? Because they were dirty whining. They were dirty whining on the girls, right? But they wanted a dirty wine with me. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I didn't come here to dirty wine. I came here to eat food and chill with my besties. Like, yo, holy. <laughs> I was like, ain't no way. And mind you, I could dance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could get down, bro. I could, I could, I could whine and grind all day. But I, I didn't want to do that with nobody. I didn't want to do that with nobody. I was doing it with my friends, my girls. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, you know, we're doing whatever. But I didn't want to do it with no dude. Like, I was like, nah, I'm cool. <laughs> but they wanted to do that with me. So I was like, like, legit, I will go, like, I will go around and I will have, like, a trail behind me. Like, oh, Vesh, you want to, like, it, you know, oh, you want to dance? You want to, you have a son, you, you want to do, nah, I'm not trying to do none of that. Go dance with your partner that you came with. They're like, nah, like, she ain't like that, all that. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> dude, I got you with her for a reason. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad, bro. They were taking pictures on the down low. Sweating, bro. I was like, this is bad, bro. This is bad. And I'm telling you, I got numbers from people that I didn't think I was gonna get their numbers. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. <laughs> like, never would, never would have thought in my days. I'm like, bro, you're my boy. Like, they're like, we trying to be more than just your boy. I'm like, the freak out of here. <laughs> you don't get out my face, bro. Like, get the freak out of here, bro. But it, it was cool. It was cool. Like, I didn't put myself in a predicament that like. It was bad, though. They were thirst buckets. If if thirsty was a word, like, if thirsty was an image, that was an experience, bro. That was an experience. But, yeah, I didn't wear nothing like that, y'all. I used to be real, like, I used to keep it real conservative. <laughs> and that's that was the whole idea. Like, me doing that, that was the whole, that was the whole niche of, oh, Vess is gonna be gay. Because she don't like, you know, she don't like, she don't like men. And it wasn't that. It was just, I didn't want to be bothered. <laughs> I didn't want to be bothered, y'all. I just wanted to, I just wanted to chill with my people. No, but like, they kind of pulled away. If that makes any sense. Like, it was more like, okay. When, when I play ball. <sighs> when I play ball with them, it was like. It was always a taunt, like, oh, you a girl. And they try to, like, dunk on me and stuff like that. Like, you know? And I'm like, bro, like, what's it? To the point where I punched this boy in his face because he tried to play me. Like, we was doing one-on-one, -on -one, and he went ahead and, like, for real, for real, tried to disrespect me on, on some, like, feminist, like, some masculine, toxic masculinity stuff. And I was like, bro, keep playing with me. I'm punching your face. And he didn't believe me. 
You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing. You you so prissy and ballsy, blah blah. All right, bet. Bet. I punch him in his face, y'all. I punch him in his face. He got knocked out, right? And I sat on top of him. I was like, boom, 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 right? He's bleeding. I see red. My grandfather. All I remember was my grandfather jumping the fence. Like my grandfather was like, oh. my grandfather was like in his fifties, bro. He jumped the fence. He jumped the freaking thing where like the the basketball was. And pulls me off this boy. It was like, yo. And then I got respect. You feel me? I had to fight for my respect, Afro, every single time. Every single time. I dressed pretty. They were like, ooh, they were opened up, right? Like light bulbs. And then like when I when I gave them the rejection, it was like, okay, you're cool or whatever, but we're gonna show you how much you need us. And then it was like, all right, bet. I'm gonna fight for my respect, damn it. I'm gonna show you that I'm one of the boys. I punched them in the face. <laughs> straight up and i don't care i don't care if it was a sucker punch or not i because i was i was sitting there like this the whole time i was sitting there and it was like you ain't gonna do nothing you gonna do nothing oh, 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 oh. you think not <laughs> bad <laughs> now now i'm the type of person i bet like, you gotta hit me first before i hit you because you know if i if i gotta go to jail if i go to jail bro <laughs> i want to i want to show that i had bruises <laughs> I want to show that I that I was defending myself, damn it. I was defending myself. But yeah, it was it was bad. I had to defend my honor, bro. <laughs> the whole time. The whole time. I was one of the boys, man. Don't don't play with me, man. I was one of the boys. I used to tell them all the time, I'm one of the boys. Don't play with me, man. They'd be like, nah, you're not one of the boys. You one of them girly girls. <laughs> Listen. You walked into me telling stories of me when I was little. My, you don't know. You don't know how many times my my family had to run after me because I was fighting. Like I was fighting. I was fighting. Like I was a street fighter, bro. Like every every day was a fight, bro. I we walked into everything, man. Street fighting, bro. Yo, little B, what's up? It was bad. It was bad. You know what? I kind of want to... Mm. Yo, honestly. Honestly, man. Honestly. It was, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. The thing about it was, like, I was just trying to be left alone. I wasn't really trying to be all that. And it's like, you know, I'm not I'm not saying that I'm gorgeous or whatever. I'm just saying, like, at a young age, uh, I kind of, like, opened up the, the doors to straight men's lives. <laughs> straight boys' lives, I guess. Where they were like, oh, my God. Like, it was so serious. It was so, it was so bad that, like, I made gay boys question their sexuality. <laughs> like, they were like... Because uh, they're like, wait a minute, you just so tomboyish, though. <laughs> How, how do you got all that? And I'm like, I, I don't, I, it's just I, something that I have this, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. Uh, don't mind me. Yeah. Um, I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate the res They respected it, bro. They respected it. You know what I mean? And I respected them, man. Shoot. I help, I help some of the, I, I help some of them stay in the, you know, because, like, their parents were, like, a-holes and stuff like that, and I hated the way that they would treat them, so I was like, yo, I'll be your girlfriend, bro, like, I'll be your girlfriend if you need me to, like, I'll play off, I'll play it off with you, and they're like, for real, I'm like, yeah, bro, like, it's not like you bad looking or whatever, <laughs> like, you feel me, like, shoot, so I used to play the, um, I used to play the, the girlfriend most of the time. And I tell you no lie, I think that kind of like, that kind of made me cool with like, with them till like now, where it's like they can come and talk to me and stuff like that. Because I'm telling you, I believed in like, I believe that, you know, people should just live their lives. Ever since I was young, I was like that. Like, you know, you should live your life. Nobody should be able to tell you what to do. 
Especially if you're older, you know what I'm saying? That's why I was happy for my friend when he ended up coming out the closet. He had, like, don't get me wrong, he had a whole bunch of kids with this one girl, and he broke her heart, but at the end of the day, um, the good part about it was she was able to accept what was going on, and she didn't keep her kids away from him, and she didn't keep their kids away from him, and, like, right now he's living happily ever after with his, uh, his partner, which is amazing. Well, his husband, because, like, they're, they're married now. And even my other friend, like, he's living happily ever after with his husband. Ah, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, because, man, if you score, if you score on a woman like that, bro, she would, she will hate you all your life type stuff. Because there's some women that, like, you know, they, they're in a relationship with somebody that is, like, they're in the closet. And then they start, they got first. They're sad, but then, like, they get angry, so angry, because they're like, I should have never got played like this type stuff, you know what I'm saying? So they'll be angry and bitter, and, like, if you had kids with them, they'll keep their kids away from you and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, like, it. yes, I understand how heartbreaking that can be, because, like, you thinking you're going to spend the your rest of your life with this person, and, like, you love them and stuff like that, but, you know... It's just like, they probably were scared, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to think of, like, what if you were in their shoes and, like, you were scared to even come out and say, yeah, I do like men more than women, you know? Or I like women more than men. You gotta, like, ex you gotta accept it, let them live their lives, and if they weren't a bad person to you nor your kids, like, let them see their kids. You feel me? Because that's what, that's what matters. I feel like kids need both their parents. Because the thing about it is, both parents have both different experiences and also they have different knowledge to give their children. So I'm like, let them, let them like love on their kids, bro. And I'm glad she did it though. Because like, she even lets the kids you know, see, she lets the kids stay over, you know, their house with his husband and stuff like that, you know, and, like, they're cool, like, they, they do family events together, stuff like that, and that's dope, bro, that is so dope, but I used to be in the middle of that bad boy, man, that, that bad boy was harsh, that bad boy was harsh, because he had told her one day, like, because, you know, I was cool with him, um, and mind you, I was his girlfriend back in the days, because, I was like, oh, I'll be your girlfriend. And I liked him anyway. So um, he went ahead and he told her, oh, Vess is the only one that I will love type stuff. And I was like, bro, why would you ever tell her that? And she wanted to fight me, bro. And I'm like, sis, why are you trying to fight me? I don't want your man. Like, <laughs> he's my boy. <laughs> like, what the freak? <laughs> she wanted to fight me, right? And then, like, I was, I told him, like, yo, you need to go get your girl because, like, she walling. I don't know what's up with her, man. So he went ahead, he talked to her, whatever. And I was like, you should have never told her anything like that. Because then she she's taking it the wrong way. Like, you have love for me because of, like, the stuff that I went through with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole situation of, like, you being closeted, me knowing, and, like, helping you through that. Like, you feel me? Like, it wasn't even about all that, sis. <laughs> you mad at the wrong person. <laughs> So it was, it was bad, but she got over it. She got over it. But what, what do you, can you give me a, can you give me a hint of what it is or, I don't know. Is it questions? Are you asking me questions? Are you making like a storyline? Okay, it's about D&D, but like. In what way? Some D and D. Get out, Afro, Afro.
bro? How you gonna know me like that? You're not allowed to know me like that, bro. You're not, you're not allowed to know me like that, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's totally fine. I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna force you to speak about something you don't wanna speak about. I wanna be the next I go bottom to the top and say my mama she told me to worry about the sign. Yeah, I wouldn't do that to you, boo. You already know. Oh, is it like uh you you giving me tips on what I should do for like Alishani? I do like tips. Like I do like that. So, I think it'd be helpful. Yeah. No. Cuz like I feel like um Cause I was playing Alicia Nee very like, uh, she was like that. She's the happy person, right? Like she was, she's happy. She thinks about things and she's like, um, she's very like, you know, friendly and stuff. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I was playing her one way and then like, I love the way that you play mask. So I was like, hmm, I need to play, I'm going to play Alicia Nee more leader-like. Because, um, you know, Scandal did make her a captain of her life. So I was like, I want to, like, play Alicia Nee a little bit more. Um, take, a, take up that role, you know what I'm saying? Take up that role of, like, being a, a leader, right? So that's basically what I was about with her on that. Um, and then, like, having you, like, the character that you are, it's, like, a nice, and it's even sweeter. It makes it even sweeter. I, I don't know. I love it, honestly. I think, like, uh, I know for a fact Alicia Nee sees, like, Cell and Mask as, like, friends, like, you know, really good friends at this point because of, like, how much you guys just was involved with her, I guess. I think we, I think we've been through a lot. <laughs> we've been through a lot. I was like, cause like Chippy was talking about like so, and she was like, girl, um, she was like, if Alicia Nee, yeah, it has been fun. She was like, if Alicia Nee ends up pregnant on the venture, I was like, so is gonna be her midwife. <laughs> You're gonna be masked. Uh, Mas <laughs> Mas could be the aunt, and then Izuli could be the godparents. <laughs> no, <laughs> that'd be funny. Uh, Izuli and Armatina could be the godparents. <laughs> that'd be hilarious, <laughs> dude. I thought it'd be funny. That's how I see the dynamic, though. And then, like, when Afro ends up joining us, he could be the uncle. <laughs> oh, funny. I've been to the I wonder if Matt talked to Chibi so that, to see what her character is feeling like now. He's like, I'm gonna t you better run around and tell your boy if I am. Like, what? It feels like shaking up a girl, rolling the nose. Man, dude, I had... I got so many ideas, man. I wish I had a, a twin or something, bro. But it's not it's not the fact of having a twin. I wish I can clone myself. I wish, I wish I could do shadow clone jitsu and, like, do some of the art that I want to do. And then, like, you know, poop right back and, like, experience it. Like, you know how Naruto, he could, like, clone himself 
and his clone will go do something, he will know what his clone did when it, like, comes back to him. I wish I had that. Do you know how much work I will get done? you know how much stuff I will be done with, bro? <laughs> with the girl I love and I'm like forget you I said the change in my pocket wasn't enough I'm like forget you and I forget her too we'll be with y'all you ain't that something ain't that something wish you the best I'm just adding some like, some like these thorns. I'm trying to make them a little bit a different color. And it's like, sure, you don't see all this, but like, it's for me, honestly. It's more for me. I probably won't be done with this today, sadly. It's okay though. Monday I'll bring it back. I just want to get the colors down at least because we got D&D &D tonight, so I don't want to, um, I don't want to be too long on this, you know what I'm saying? Forget her too, no, we'll be with y'all, ain't that some ish, ain't that some ish. And I'll forget you. Dude, imagine this rose thing with a whole bunch of, like, just getting extra viney and extra poofy. Hey. I'm trying to put you in the worst food. Uh. Dude, all this laughing and talking kind of cleared up my throat, huh? I was struggling, bro. Struggling, struggling. I was like, hello? Mind you, I woke up. I did wake up pretty late. I woke up at like almost 10 o'clock. And that's because I went to sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning, bro. Because I was drawing and having a good old funky time. And then Justin, he gets up and he leaves. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, like usually in my brain, I'm like, oh, you know, when he does that, it's usually like 12 o'clock. So, like, I got till like 1, right? No, y'all, it was, when he got up, it was, like, I think 1.30 or something like that. So, <laughs> I was sitting there, like, hello? <laughs> it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Why? Who lied to me? I was just sitting there, confuzzled. Like, this ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. He was playing uh, Lego on Fortnite because Fortnite now turned into like some type of like, it turned into a free version of like the Lego game. So like you could play Fortnite characters as Legos and like build houses and stuff like they for real coming for Minecraft at this point. And it looks so clean. I mean, like it's the cleanest thing ever. And he's been, he was playing that for hours with uh, Solaris. You was on it? You you see, this is why, listen, when you see him on, all you got to do is shoot him a message like, Juju, what you finna do? Because I, I think right now he might be playing a game. Because he home. But yeah, you got to like message him. <laughs> Not the angry. <laughs> I'm dead. She's like, the deception. The deception. How dare. Yeah. Yo, I was gonna download it too so I could play. Cause like for real, for real, we could do that. And then mind you, you could save your houses and all that. The only thing I don't like is it's, um, yes, it's like PVP too, so that you can blow up people's house with like stuff and 
I've been in Minecraft long enough that my house got burnt to the ground and everything. Because I was playing with my brothers. And they had their stupid little friends that would burn down the houses and stuff. And mind you, I'll make a, I'll make a beautiful deluxe house. And I'm like sitting there like, bro... Uh, the, the fact that, like, you could take a bomb to somebody's house and blow the whole house up. I mean, like, it's cool. It's cool. But keep that in mind. If you build a nice-looking house, they can blow your house up with a bomb. <laughs> so, uh, Justin was like, we need to play with people that is not going to do that to our houses. And I was like, okay. So, just keep in mind that that is possible. Because Justin, he, he likes to troll sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're they're done, bro. They're done. It's a done game, bro. Oh, don't don't get me wrong. If my house get blown up, I'm blowing everybody else's house up. <laughs> I'll be like, who did it? And if nobody fesses up, I'm blowing houses up, bro. Amen. Amen. Yup. Under the sun's look like they're not shining. Cause they're beautiful. Oh, and I know, I know. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But just to say, you could you could be able to save in that game, which is really cool. Right, nobody touch your house, bro. I'm down with that. Listen, I will I will help you. I will help you if somebody blow up your house. I'll 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 get vengeance with you. You hear me? Me and you. I'll be like, yo, Afro, I will, like, I would like, legit slip into your Discord real quick and call you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for right now, he had, um, he had him, Solaris, somebody named Pebbles, and Solaris' sister, and another person. So, he had five people in there. And I don't, I don't know if it, like, goes by, like... I don't know. I don't know the details of it, but it sounded like it was fun because he was having fun with them. So I don't know too much of the details. But... Oh, you know, you know, you know. As you to change, you're perfect. What you're searching for, and you stay the same. So. I'm going to steal colors from this because I don't feel like grabbing them from anywhere else. And when you smile, your rose red stars fit as fair as stars on brown. Cause girl, you're amazing. That's the way you are. The way you are. You know what I'm about to do, y'all? I'm about to use the same color here. Yeah. I freaking love coloring. That's like my favorite part of this thing. When I be dropping the colors in there, like, sure, my line art look kind of flat. But once I, like, start putting my magic to it, oh, my God, y'all. It just, things happen beautifully, bro. I want to show you the children I made, but I know for a fact it's going to make me like be like, oh, um, let's work on it for a little bit. And I don't want to do because I know my scatterbrain self is going to do that, bro. I know my scatterbrain self is going to do that. So I can't do that. Bro, what if we give her some like red lipstick? Ooh. It's like a ooh girl. Mm. Oh my god. Maybe it should be pink. <laughs> I don't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. Hey. Hey. 
I know I'm in flight. Tell them no way. Yo, I can't believe this man. He rap bad, bro. <laughs> she effing hates me, but I love it. Wait. No, you ain't. Here we go again. It's going great. She's Lois Lane. I don't even know his name. I laid hands on her. Bro, I forgot the mother freaking raps on the hand again. Ugh. Oh. I am tired of myself doing that. I bet. Alright. I gotta draw these like wraps on her hands. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna do this. Somebody was like, oh, he was he was probably tired because, you know, he old or whatever. That's why he his stuff wasn't that good. But, like, didn't he sing, didn't he rap Venom not so long ago? So I'm like, how? Like, how, how did you even come up with that theory, bro? Because, like, that Venom was dope. I had that on a replay type dope. Cause you remember, you remember how bad he's rapping now, right? Like his rapping is not sounding the same. They were like, "Oh, he getting old, so he tired. Like he don't want to rap fast, like he'd be usually rapping." But I'm like, "Fam, didn't he like? Didn't he do that Venom song? That wasn't that long ago, and he he was a beast on there. He did Rap God when he was coming after Homeboy. So like, you know what I'm saying, like." Yeah, but that's his thing. True. Since the volcano, the letter radio. Can't you see the sanity in my voice when I talk? Look me in the eyeball at the drywall. Right? That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He was getting it, bro. Let me sit right, bro. <laughs> Let me sit right. Mm -hmm. This is the song. I want you to stay. <laughs> Yo! I'm dead, bro. I feel that though. I feel that. Since all my hands in the air, I can't show me something. Since I was in tears, tears come a little closer. Not really sure how to feel about it. 
Yo, honestly. <laughs> oh my God. I freaking love me some Rihanna. <laughs> honestly. Listen. I be thinking Afro is like one of those like con connoisseurs, like the music connoisseur. Because he be knowing. Yo, did you see that thing? There was like a Shanti was like uh, with Nelly. I want I want my eggs to crack. Like I want my eggs to be cracked. Watch, I'm going to show y'all. It was so funny. I said this to... Uh, I said I said this to Matt and Chibi. I was like, this is Alicia Neen when she was talking to Volsha. <laughs> but hold on. Let me see if I can get that bad boy for y'all. Hold up. Hold on. I gotta go to the inbox. Look at it. It was this one. Look at, look at. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Hold up. I'm not playing with you. I want my eggs cracked. Meaning I want a child. I want my name dropped. Meaning I want to be married. I'm not around with you. <laughs> I am not your bed maiden. I am not your maid. I am not your floozy or your You are going to have to give me something substantial. Because I know I'm worth that. I'm not all there. Sometimes I have my moments. But I know one thing. I'm good to you <laughs> I'm not playing with you I want my eggs cracked <laughs> it was just like I want my eggs cracked I want I want a child <laughs> I want something substantial <laughs> I'm not your bed maiden you good <laughs> I was like that I was like bro and then Chippy was like I would have paid to see you you RP that that whole thing she said I would have paid to have you do this whole <laughs> right <laughs> well yeah that's true find you you find yourself a man you don't gotta convince right but I, I was I was laughing <laughs> I was laughing because I was like, it's the eggs crack for me. <laughs> it's just the fact she said, I want my eggs cracked. I want my name dropped. I'm trying to be married. <laughs> Bro, I was on the floor. I was like, hey, I ain't your bed maiden. I was just like, damn. I was rolling. <laughs> Yo, dude, I like honestly speaking, like to be completely honest with you, I was, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was, bro. I know I wasn't trying, I wasn't looking for no one night stand. I was like, bro, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be like a forever thing. If you're not down with it, just move on, bro. And if I wasn't feeling you, I wasn't feeling you. Like, that's just is it. Don't, don't try to convince me. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm not feeling you, bro. You know what? I'm about to just do this right here so that we could, uh, we could have, like, a nice gold and green thing going. Because I think gold and green goes very well together. And I think that's because, like, they're kind of, like, complementary colors. So, it kind of, like, it really does something for me. And then we could go with, like, a nice, like, a nice thing for that in the back. Bro. <laughs> Substantial. <laughs> Dude. Imagine, though. Imagine, imagine, imagine. She was not playing with that man. Get the freak out of here. <laughs> not a $6 matcha. 
You know what? We're going to do her skin color so that we can get that out the way. Because, like, her leg, like, this would be her thigh right here, right? And then she has another thigh that kind of, like, comes out this way. So, like, it goes this way. Where it's, like, this is a thigh here where it kind of, like, it goes like this. But the thing is, like, the leg kind of come in there. So, we got to do this. But... Hey, what's up, Millie? Millie twerk. Be like, big bang, busting up the belly band, take a nap and I see y'all good body back, no how I give it up. Millie? Oh, Miley, my bad, Miley. Bro. It's my brain. My brain is like, I think my brain's still asleep, bro. I'm sorry, Miley. Don't get how you doing, boo. How you been? How you feeling? Not this Peter Pan song. How about you? Do, 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 do. Yo, I feel that. Yes. Survive, Miley. Survive, boo. Yes, sir. Hey. That's how it be, though. I've been doing this thing. I've been like, um, like, let's say if there's like people that I know that be live. I be trying to like have their stream up while I'm streaming so they could get a view. <laughs> I don't know if it works. Like I really don't know if it works, but I be doing it. This is mad meticulous right here, bro. But we gonna get it. Nothing, no, 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 you, baby. Nothing, no, no, you. Um, thank you, Kiki. Oh. Oh. Hey, welcome back with the food. No. See, so now my whole thing is who spoons who in this relationship? Because she's small, and she got this big mama right here, right? So she's she's tall. She got a rack. She got the whole bakery, you feel me? But who spoons who? You know? Like, she's like, let me be the little spoon. You know? <laughs> you know? She a bakery, bro. She a bakery. Like... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all know what I be talking about? <laughs> I'm gonna have to put her knee here. Cause I, I wanna like, I wanna have it there. Baby, you the whole package. What you do, your cake? The cakes and pastries. That's her. You know, she's like, I am her. You know. One thing about me, I'm going to turn up. <laughs> you know I mean? See, I, I need this leg to kind of come out like this. Because, you know, she going to give her... Give it to her. Boy, I never saw me. I right, bet. So what I need to do is this. And I might say, hey, but you shouldn't worry about what they say. Let me go right between this, right? Let's bring this back up here. And let's erase the stuff we don't need. So, like, 
basically this gotta go oh shoot and the other go and this is gonna be your name uh -huh. Oh, you're taking a personal day? You better go ahead now, Kiki. What you gonna do on your personal day? You just gonna be chilling today? What we doing? What we doing for our personal day, Kiki? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you getting a haircut? You getting a haircut? Oh, do we gotta cut a fool? <laughs> Did you get that haircut? Oh, we gotta cut. We gotta cut somebody. Who we gotta cut, Kiki? Let me know. Let me know who we gotta cut. Cause we'll cut them for you, bro. Okay. He finally showed up. Oh, you taking a sick day? You know what? I don't blame you, man. I'll take a sick day any day. I kind of want, like, her to be blushy blushy. So we're going to... Oh, baby, see the face that you thought. I think somebody put a hand on my heart. Hey, that looks really good. Let's make her, like, let's make her fingers, like, oh, yes. She's like, yes, girl, take me, love me, be with me. <laughs> I know y'all like that. <laughs> hey, how you liking it so far? Hey, Kiki, yes. Road. You let me down on earth, but I'm happy for the people that got you, please. Music on my mind. I love it. Is this a little bit too pink, or should I, like, tone it? Oh, yeah, I could tone it down just a bit. It's a little bit, right? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Are you playing Black Flag? Is that the one? <laughs> Is that the one? I'm deceased, bro. <laughs> you got me here in week, bro. Like, <laughs> get the freak out. <laughs> That's the one, bad, 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 bad. That's our Black Flag, bro. You know, you 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 a pirate though. <laughs> yo hoy, yo hoy, yo hoy, yo hoy, yo hoy. Be humble. 
sit down be humble sit down be humble sit down be humble sit down let me get this dark skirt be humble sit down dude the ship is really hard bro did you get all of them afro like and you're just like one by one playing them of the photoshop show me something real you like the shot do you like the ship that bad boy was hard for me bro i was like ugh Sit down. Be humble. Oh my god, girl. <laughs> I might as well make it normal and like there we go. Is it is it just he just wants to be rich? So, like, let's say if I put something behind them like this. Yeah, you can see it some. Uh, look at that, bro. Mm -hmm. Damn, that sucks. Mm <laughs> it's giving Craven. It's giving Craven from Spider Man Two. You, this man left his whole wife, and she's like, "Let let us help you." And he's like, "Nah, um, the kids need to fend for themselves." You feel me? The kids need to fend for themselves. And he, she was like, "Bro, but like, what? <laughs> My babies, but you?" She was like, "No, no." <laughs> it's giving. It's giving Craven, bro. This man was not having it with his wife. He's like, sis, miss me with art. I was like, damn. Damn, girl, you cannot win. Yes, I was like, you can't win. <laughs> she, I know she was heated, bro. I know she was mad. into one into fucking my mirror oh oh alright bet let's save this and uh what else are we doing um let's get this red in her hair I think I'm gonna just focus on her for a minute and then we could focus on everything else later I think that's what we're gonna do Cause she got like this velvety red hair, right? Oh, yeah, no. right. I don't wanna lose a move. And then I don't be ever up to me. You don't like Justin? Damn. What Justin do to you? What Justin Timberlake do to you? Oh, cause he need to apologize to Britney. Yeah, he did her dirty, bro. He did her dirty, bro. He did her dirty. Yup, yup, yup. Yup, yup, yup. Everybody played Britney. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, even her peoples, her own peoples played her bowl. Right. Left her on red. That's sneaking. That's sneaky son of a biscuit. Oh, yeah, she giving poison ivy, bro. I think the small ears was the way to go. So. Yo, honestly. <laughs> like, come over here, baby. Which would you ride? And we'll feed you. You know what I'm saying? We'll give you better water pressure, too. You feel me? But all these people looking at me like I'm a little girl. Whoa. We got better water pressure, bro, right over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got better water pressure, boo. Bro, Britney was the the jazz back then, bro. Was the jazz. She was the she was the jazz. Cuz like my sister, my sister had all her stuff. Yeah, dude. He didn't give her no... Bro, she was in the bathroom. She was in the bathroom, bro. Right? She was in the bathroom dancing. And there was the water pressure was so damn low. I'm like, girl, if they don't come fix your pipes... <laughs> I don't know. Like, with that little squirt of water, bro, it was giving third world. You know, like... It was giving... <laughs> It was given, don't turn on the water fully. We trying to save money on the water bill. <laughs> I was like, ain't no way you got my girl Brit. Ain't no way you got my girl Brittany out here. This with low pressure, bro. She played the sprinklers, bro. She was playing the sprinklers. It had me rolling. I was sick. I was like, ain't no way y'all got my girl Brittany out here, bro. With no water pressure. No water pressure whatsoever. Homie had her on no water pressure, bro. That water pressure was so low. Yeah, she was in the shower dancing. Like she was she had like a bathing suit. Yeah, she had like she had like a little bathing suit on and she was like doing a little belly dance in the water. Let me see if I can find it. I'm gonna show you how low this water pressure was. Britney Spears dancing in shower. I'm gonna show y'all. <laughs> You're gonna be like, what the freak, bro? <laughs> Hold on. Everything you do. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. This is her. Britney Spears slams Acelia, whatever her name, for old Twitter. So she's like, she's dancing. Where? No, she's. She was in. The, listen, she was dancing. Why is this playing? Bro, you're doing the most. I just need to see her dancing, bro. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Come on, bro. Listen, she's dancing in the shower doing all this. You see this little squirt of water right here, bro? Like, the stream was not streaming, bro. <laughs> I can't even show. I can't even. No, she's not. She's not. She's not naked. It was a TMZ video. 
Come on, bro. She wasn't naked. She wasn't naked. I promise you, she wasn't. She was like, she had like this bathing suit bottom. Look at, look at the water, bro. The, the water is so low. She's dancing and look at the water pressure, bro. <laughs> look at the water pressure. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> bro, the water pressure is crazy. <laughs> Like you, y'all, y'all took a shower, right? Ain't no way. Ain't no way your shower is just running that stream of water, just a little bit of water like that. And she's dancing. She's like, you know, she's dancing, doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like, yo, happy belated birthday to Brittany, yo. Yeah, she had no top on, but she, you know, she was, uh, she was holding her, she was holding her chest. She wasn't going to show it, but you know, she was dancing or whatever. And homegirl had a stream of water. I was like, bro, does this man got her in like a third world country? Like she ain't got no water. The shower wasn't even showering right, bro. I was just like, <laughs> and you was like, was she dancing next to a hose? She was in a shower. You saw it. You saw the little the, the little spickle thing, right? Like the, the little handle thing that you change things, right? My girl, I'm like, somebody come save Brittany, bro. Come save my girl, bro. Where's the freaking? This is ridiculous. What is happening, bro? Oh, that's what happened. By myself, all of my favorite Bro. Bro. They, they, they had my girl out there with no water pressure, bro. I was like, who's your plumber? Like, for real, sis. Because, like, your water pressure is hella low. They need to go ahead and dig up your yard so they can put some new holes in there. Because, like, it was not given. I would have divorced him, too, with that water pressure. <laughs> She, yeah, she still got it. She still got it. All right? She still got it. Like, she still got it, bro. Had me dead, though. Listen! <laughs> Listen! Dude, it was hilarious. Again, Britney Spears is rich, bro. Like... And the, the model boyfriend she had, the model husband she had, he got money too, bro. There was no reason why their water pressure should have been that low. They had no business, bro. It was given that the pipes were calcium built up on it. <laughs> Thank you, Kiki. Um, what you call it? She, uh, she sued her, she sued her people. She sued her dad and stuff like that for mental and physical, uh, you know how, like, they were keeping her up in those, um, in those asylums and stuff like that? She started getting her money back, bro. Yeah, she sued them cats. Absolutely sued them cats. And they got all her money, bro. They got all her money. They got all her money, bro. If I like it, I love what I got. I got it. I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. You like my hair? Gee, thanks. You just bought it. I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. Y'all, y'all need to get me off it. You need to get me off here, bro. Dude. Yeah, she don't make no music no more, bro. I'm like, sis. I needed you to be as great as Mariah Carey. You feel me? Yo, Selena Gomez came back with some music though, and she's doing and she's doing movies and stuff. Like she's doing shows. One of the shows that I've been watching heavy that I love her in is uh, Murders in the hotel or something like that murders in the building murders in the building 
Bro, that show is gooder than, bro. Gooder than. But. Oh, like she, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she, like, she was, she was like a twig, and then, like, she, boom, boom, blah. I was like, ooh, girl. I was like, damn, girl, you felt it nice. Uh, she's in her 30s. She's in her 30s. Listen. I was, I told Justin, I was like, Justin, she got older and that girl, mm -mm -mm. she, she, she pulled off uh, a Kiki Palmer <laughs> instantly, instantly, bro. Selena Gomez does not look the same. No kids too. And she was like, boom, boom, blow. I was like, stop playing with them. With a low water pressure. But, tell you the truth, what if she did have kids and the world doesn't know about it? But again, like, I think she's Latina, right? And, like, when we age, the body changes. But, she looks fantastic, bro. Like, she filled in nicely. But, you know, this is this is why I say, like, when it comes down to surgery, people shouldn't rush to surgery at a young age because you 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 hit second puberty, like, in your 30s, where your body just auto automatically changes. Because, like, no lie, my body's doing things that it's doing now that it didn't do before, especially, like, with how it looks. You know, like, with how it looks, because it's, like... Before, I had, like, this, like, really toned figure or whatever, and, like, the way that I was shaped was, like, oh, you know, hourglass and all that, right? But now that I'm older, you know, like, I feel like I'm more bigger, but, like, in the right places, and, like, just things look a lot, like, it looks, it looks a lot, you know, woman-like, I guess, if that makes any sense, bro, like, things just be, like, I'd be like, why do I got this on me? And we don't like it, per se, because we're used to our young bodies. But, like, I think she felt out nice. I was like, damn, Selena, what the freak? But, yeah, she she boom, boom, blowed. You feel me? Boom, boom, blowed. Like, she looks phenomenal. Like, look at this woman, bro. She's phenomenal. Look at her. She hit her, like, because she's, she's 30, I think she's, like, 31, I think. Because Selena Gomez and me is the same age, baby. <laughs> and this is, like, honestly speaking, you see how, like, her chest is? That's how mine is. And it used to not be like that back in the days. Like, I you saw my collarbones and all that stuff. But, like, now it feels like I'm a little bit more meatier. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, ooh. <laughs> so, like... What, this picture? Just look up Selena Gomez. Look up Selena Gomez. You know what I'm saying? Look at her, her shorty shorts, y'all. She just meteor, bro. Like, how 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 does she go from this? Because this is what she used to look like to, like, just meteor, bro. <laughs> oh, you trying to get girls like her? I don't know, bro. I, I really don't know. But she is a gorgeous. She's fantastic. Look how beautiful she looks. But um, do you know uh, what you call it? Yeah. Yeah. She looks phenomenal. She looks phenomenal. She looks phenomenal. Like, look at her, bro. Look at her. She. My God. She's phenomenal, bro. She's phenomenal. She's she's eating every day. She's eating every day, bro. Eating. Eating it. Fantastic. This woman is gorgeous, bro. 
Look at this suit on her, bro. She's yo. Uh, what's that? What's that one Spanish lady that she was on everything? She she plays um that chick from De Desperado. Damn. Yeah, cause like you remember, she was like just real pear face and like, nah, she felt it nice. Yes, all, only murders. Oh my god, only murders, bro. She looks so cute in only murders. Only murders in the building, bro. Look at her. She eats, bro. She eats. She eats in the show. She eats in the show so bad, like. She gives it to us, bro. Every single time. Every outfit, bro. Look at her. Look at Samla. Yeah, she giving Samla. Yep. Like, she's eating every single time, bro. I'm like, Selena, Selena. Selena Gomez. She just be eating. She happy. I think she happy. You feel me? <laughs> she give me like that. She got that glow to her. You feel me? But look how fantastic. Phenomenal. But again, I feel like we, we be feel, like at, at a certain age, you start filling out. And then like the thing about it is the with um yeah. Dude, it's a good show. It's a good show. Why is she getting dragged on Instagram? She's fantastic. Fantastic, right? Freaking love that woman. <laughs> Listen. You know, if, if things get a little too hot, you got to get out the kitchen, right? Oh, I don't know about none. I don't know nothing about no Palestine debacles with the celebrities. I haven't really been paying attention to that. I think I should, but I have not. Yeah, I feel that. I don't understand why people get mad at certain things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't want to speak about it, then don't speak about it, right? I know how people, yeah, you're right. Oh, nice. Awesome. You see, like, for me, I haven't spoken about it because I don't know much about it. Like, I know that there's something bad happening. But, yeah, I haven't, like, I haven't, like, addressed anything. And there's, like, people who don't even be on the internet like that. So they don't know like what's happening in that sense either. Yeah, you know what though? I I wish it was like back in the days where like celebrities were a mystery. I feel like with the internet and how, like, big it is now and how, like, a lot of the celebrities are using social media so that they can, like, make some type of income because they're not getting enough income in Hollywood, it just made things very muddy where, like, we know too much about them. Yeah, I know, right? I'm waiting for my press conference. Shoot. You're going to be waiting forever. But I'm not important enough for people to care, right? Dude, right? Like, if you wanted to, like, really find out about a celebrity, you would have to, like, legit go through their windows and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I agree. 
I agree with that. Okay, we got the red hair going. That went down, the, that went out of the, the window as soon as, like, people were just being mad, like, ugh, about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, what the hell? How about an overlay? I don't know what song this is, but I'm I'm liking the ring a ding ring a ding a ding ring a ding a ding ring a ding a ding. Yeah. It is awful. Like, imagine what these people got to go through on a daily basis. I wonder if I should go with this color here. Yeah, I think I should. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. Like, I, I spoke about a lot of things, I think. Thank you. I'm definitely saving. I like, what if, but what if they want to speak on something? Go ahead and speak on it. Go ahead, go ahead and speak on it. Bro. It just be like that sometimes, though. I know a lot of celebrities won't speak on things because they don't want to, like, be caught up in anything of that nature. Like, um, when it comes down to the politics of things because they want to like have that same oh they made yeah they did Lexi they that's what I'm saying like these I feel like politicians for real for real shouldn't get paid because it's like you 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 in this like you you trying to like do this whole government thing right and we give you taxes to do this and y'all don't even do it right first of all like you, get, you need to get paid minimum wage, I feel like. You should get paid as much as, like, you should get paid $7. You should get paid the minimum wage, like every other person. You shouldn't get paid more than that. You shouldn't be making millions of dollars. Nope. I feel like politicians should not be. People who's in the office, nah. Nah. Honestly. Honey, I don't need dollar bills to have fun tonight. I don't need no money. 
They do. They really do. That is true. Yeah, dude, play with us. I'll play with you. Yeah, they do be getting bribed, though, to be, like, changing things up. <laughs> Bro, you could blow houses up. You could build the houses. We we saw it on the um on a thing too. They were showing it on uh the game awards. <laughs> yeah, you could blow people up too with them with them bombs. That's true. Cause I saw him blow somebody up and steal all their stuff. It was hilarious. I was like, damn. I love you, thrill. I love you, thrill. I don't mean no more. Oh, yes, I can feel the beat. I don't mean no That's that's crazy. Not you trying to summon him. Not the bazookas. Nah, there's not bazookas. It's like these trash cans that like, it, it looked like a little bomb. It looked like a little bomb. I hope so too. That'd be kind of cool. But like more people got to play it for them to update it. Because that's what happened with uh no build mode. Like a lot of people were playing no build mode. That's crazy. That's wild. What? They have a racing game in there? Oh, we got a race now. That's wild. Fortnite about to make money. Monty, bro. That dollar dollar bill, y'all. Yo, honestly, I believe that 100%. It do. It just it makes it way different than what it was intended to be in the first place. It was a shooter game, then they turned it into like I think it's just coming for everybody's pockets at this point. If they turn it to MMO, that's crazy. Where like you could build your own character and like nah bro. Mm -hmm. 
Up the phone because you're drunk and alone, too. Get up, take it, and not again. You know that I'm gonna make bed in the morning. Do you understand? You ain't getting over him. I don't know what I don't. Oh, wow, they really coming for Fortnite. I mean, they really coming for them then. They really coming for, for Minecraft then. Because you got to pay for a server with Minecraft. Yeah, they did. Inside my bones, it goes electric, baby. When I eat them, that's wild. And I got diamonds and shine in my pocket. I got diamonds all in my feet. I can sleep my ass is walking and he's so numb, numb, me. And I say, I'm not a nice when everything goes. I'm not a nice when I'm seeing you close. And he is, and you already know. Just to make sure Shame. 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 Thank you so much for the <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> that be getting me all the time, bro. All right, we we getting close to like dropping all this color on these people. I'm trying to just get the color down. And, you know, we got D&D &D tonight, so I don't want to, like... Yo, they blowing my phone up. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday up. Oh. It's Friday then. I'm gonna go ahead now. Oh, I can go shopping then. Right? Yep, do them now, man. Do them now. All the things I shut and do. I 
Okay. Now I gotta add this gray and then I gotta make her eyebrows just a little bit darker because she is um she got gray hair but What do you mean? Oh when you lost your head, yes, but you wanna say no, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. But you tell me to go, what do you mean? Go, what do you mean? Did you mean all the time, what do you mean? Hey, hey, oh, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> bro, I'll be seeing her jamming, bro. <laughs> jamming, you know what I mean? You wanna say no? What do you mean? Hey, yeah. Do you all want me to move? What you tell me to go? What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? You're missing out of time. What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh. What do you mean? What do you mean? You wanna say no? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. But you tell me to go. Oh, what do you mean? Did you want a lot of time? What do you mean? I'm gonna just leave up the scales like that, and then like lower the opacity. Yeah, that looks great. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna merge that. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this, this, and this. All right, now let's uh go ahead, add the white on the, um on these bad boys right here. These dogs right here. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a really cool like um it's a real cool design with the characters and stuff. All right, time to put my girl Isley color in, which is shouldn't be that hard because you know we got this, this, and then we got a whoop, and then we're gonna do a whoop, and then all around like this. And drop her color in. 
Like that, that. Now we gotta clean this up by hand, like this. Do -do -do -do. See, that lasso tool be lassoing. <laughs> Let me tell you about this lasso tool. This lasso tool be lassoing, you feel me? I bet. Now what I need to do is I got to put the tattoos on. So where was that last thing that I had? Because I got to um I gotta add the tattoos. And then after the tattoos, we're pretty much done. I wonder if I have it, though. Let me see her tats. Because I know I drew some, I, I know I drew some tattoos for her. Um, let me see. Yeah, this is it right here. And then, like, I had it going up and down her arm and stuff. Let me do a normal, right? And then what I'm going to do is this, right? And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to I'm going to like form it on her arm so that it can make sense cuz it's not making sense right now, so I'm going to fix it. You better go ahead. You better go school school eh? So it's gonna be forever. So it's gonna be down in flames. Cause I was to blame. Got a little more sweet sex service. Cause I know you were right when you said you'd sweep your floor. Oh, I knew from the paper. Same. I really meant me a chance to the baby. So it's gonna be forever. Oh, it's gonna go down in flames. Got a lot of this on the service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it can't. I'm in love with that one. Oh, it's 
Bloop, Emma. I should know. I can sort you know. Um. How about a free crayon? Because I don't know if I did this or I did an overlay. <gasps> Ooh, that overlay look crazy. Okay, hold on. My trap queen, I'm on in the window. Alright, bet. Let's add some blushes. Yeah, the blushes, kick it. Boom. You can kind of like tone it down just a tad bit. But it looks fantastic. All right, boom. Background completed. I'm looking hard with my baby. Um, I gotta do the frame and all that, but so far, so good. Um, cuz I might be able to clean it up, but I don't know. I might be able to clean it up, I might be able to clean it up. But I don't know. Maybe I. I don't know. I kind of want to make it look a little bit, mm, a little bit more refined than what I got here. So we're gonna definitely make that a lot more refined. But so far, so good. Let me save. Um, what what time is it? It's four o'clock, y'all. We be working, bro. We be working here. You hear me? When I talk, when I tell you, be working. We be working. We be working. And I got up with my baby. Buzzy blah 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 Yes, kick it, yes. Get it. Always be working, you know? But that's that's all we can do is work, right? Work and have a good old funky time. You know, make sure that we get everything situated here and all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. Let me go ahead 
All right, let's go ahead and let's raid the homie creative gem. Our raid call is Pulse Nation, y'all. Um, I'll be back here Monday, 12 o'clock Eastern time. Um, but if you guys want to watch me play D and D tonight, seven o'clock Eastern Standard time, I will be on Real Positive Game Gaming on uh, here on Twitch. I'll be playing Alicia. -y. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, I'll see y'all there. Hopefully, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love y'all. Please be safe um, and then have an amazing rest of the weekend.